all right hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and today let us uh, have a good time together and answer and refute some Abdul uh, you know the Mohammedan always their busy time is to prove to us that Jesus is not God and their busy time actually to put Jesus down yet they claim that he is a prophet but by saying that Muhammad is the best of mankind you are insulting Jesus that is guaranteed they claim that the Bible is corrupt but suddenly there's a verse in the Bible the Muslims they love it and they believe that this verse is not corrupt so all the verse all the Bible is like corrupt but this verse for sure Jesus says that and that verse supposedly is where Jesus says no one knows the hour but the father so today we are going to discuss about the judgment day and what Jesus said uh, if we go in the Bible as an example in mark 13 and we read the muslims only they like a verse from the whole chapter just one verse and that verse uh, jesus mentioning that the hour but that day and that hour no man now not the angels which are in heaven neither the son but the father uh, so the Muslim they say okay well uh, Jesus saying that nobody knows the judgment day so how you say he's God you know I can say the same if there is any Muslim he dare to call me right now I challenge the Muslims to accept the following challenge that the one who do not know the hour me and you we will accept to call him false God if there is any Muslim there to accept the challenge because the whole Quran proving that Allah is not God for he do not know the hour not only he do not know the hour he do not know how the baby is created he claimed that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs the baby is created from sperm who became a, a congealed blood uh, uh, the man have a sperm coming from the backbone uh, judgment uh, day is near and the moon is split and not you know there's no moon split and judgment day did not happen yet 14 years ago so there's tons of false prophecies or what about the Roman the Roman will be victorious and then we find that Muhammad he said this prophecy after it happened have you ever heard of a prophet he prophesy after things happened uh, so when a Muslim he speak about this are they willing to take the challenge that the one who do not know the hour we should not accept him to be God if there is any Muslim in the chat if there is anyone in the chat anyway always we will be happy to find Muslims who they can have little decency in case they do but uh, uh, the point of uh, of uh, of making this statement is to make you you know suspect your disbelief but here we notice something very important if the Bible is corrupt as the Muslims they claim why the Christian did not take this verse off Is the Christian people did not maybe maybe we Christian we did not see it uh, maybe the Christian are not aware of it uh, maybe the Muslims they were able to read it we know like we just learned from the Muslims so here we notice that this is additional proof that the Bible never been changed so how the Christians for centuries they read this verse and the, the verse in the front of their eyes and yet they say that Jesus is God and why did they not take it off they changed the whole book they left this verse but here you see how Muslim get them sub busted first of all if you believe that this verse is accurate that's mean you believe that Jesus he said that he is the son 
and he have a father and his father is your God Muslims so as long you accept this verse you have to accept all the verse secondly if Jesus said that nobody knows but the father well Jesus in many places says who is he but Muslims don't want to read if we go to John 5 we will find the following John 5 after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed, and walk. Then asked they him, what man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed, and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus, and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, <laughs> making <laughs> himself equal with God. Hold on. Then answered made Jesus himself, and said unto them, Made himself equal to God. Jesus, he just said, and the Bible says, that he made himself equal to God. So the Jews didn't want to kill Jesus because he is claiming to be a prophet, but he made himself equal to who? To God. And this is written in the front of us. So here we notice Jesus who say clearly that he is equal to God and call God, God his father too. So they said not only is he breaking the Sabbath, but he is making himself equal to God. Read it carefully. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, I say, verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself. The Son what? Can do nothing of himself. Let us say it again for the deaf Muslims. The son can do nothing of himself. Mm -hmm. What if we go to Mark? It says, not even the son. For the son can do nothing of himself. Are you getting the point, guys? So the son in this earth, he can do nothing by himself. Everything I have is given to me from my father for the son can do nothing of himself now why the muslims they stuck with that one what about stick with this one because jesus he just said the son can do nothing of himself okay what does that mean but what he sees the father do for what things he does uh, so far he does 
those also doth the son likewise for the father loves the son and so with him all things that himself does and he will show him greater work than those that uh, uh, ye may uh, marvel here jesus telling us that the flesh in front of you this is not his power this is the power is given to me i am the word of god in the man the son he always do things which is given to him from the father for he can do nothing of himself so when you ask jesus about when the hour would come he is talking about the son jesus he called himself many times in the bible the son of man the son of the man the son of the man the son of the man so the son of the man he can do nothing of his own he is in the flesh and that make him limited for the flesh yet yet jesus in the same chapter we are reading he made the man go and run he cannot walk jesus he made the blind see jesus he rejected people from death jesus he tell you even what you had in your houses in the quran but jesus said everything i have is given to me from my father let us continue listening and see how easy to answer the muslims lies and deception verily verily i say unto you the son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the father do for what things soever he doeth these also doeth the son likewise for the father loveth the son and showeth him all things that himself doeth and he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel for as the father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them even so the son quickeneth whom he will for the father judgeth no man but hath committed all judgment unto the son that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father he that honoreth not the son on i will stop here so the muslim they claim that jesus said that the son okay jesus said he don't know the judgment day but Jesus will be the judge in the judgment day. And even Muhammad, he said, that the Messiah, Isa, he will come down as a hakaman muqsitan, which means an absolute just and justice. Hakaman muqsitan. How Jesus can be hakaman muqsitan? You Muslims, you have tons of contradictions. When you accuse Jesus or you try to make him not being God, your prophet, he got you busted. Jesus do not know the judgment day, but he will be the judge for the judgment day. So you have a job and you are going to do, uh, but you do not know when you will do it. Why is that? Because Jesus said it clearly, the son can do nothing of his own. nothing of his own everything he have is given to him from the father so judgment day is not a decision jesus will make for you now because simply we don't believe in destiny you see the muslims they believe in destiny that judgment day is already written the day the hour what will happen even what we do even the sin we did according to islam allah he wrote our sin if you remember when when muhammad he claimed uh, that Adam and Moses they have a debate and Adam uh, uh, Moses he said to Adam uh, because of you we are out of heaven uh, so Adam he says to him do you blame me for uh, a sin written for me 40 years before Allah created me so to understand judgment day in Christianity you have to stay away from the stupidity of the cult of Islam because in Islam even your sin is not your sin it is the sin of Allah let me show you so the Muslims will not make me you know and we will go to the Bible but we are just connecting the dots and show you how we are totally different from what Muslims believe as you see this is Sahih al-Bukhari so the Muslims cannot say uh, those hadith are stupid and they are you know they are uh, uh, not accepted etc so Moses and Adam they have an argument and Moses look like he is a believing in in the original sin 
and yet the Muslims they claim that Moses was a Muslim but Moses is a prophet but he do not know what the original sin because he believed exactly what the Christian believe Moses accused Adam that because of you we are out of heaven which mean Moses cannot be Muslim and here Muhammad he got himself busted again because how every Muslim today he knew that original sin should be rejected because what Islam is about is to reject original sin but yet Moses who is a Muslim prophet he believed in original sin and he accused Adam that because of you you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise that is original sin here you see Muhammad prove to us that Muslims claim that Moses and Muhammad claim that Moses was a Muslim is a big fat lie then Adam said to him oh Moses Allah favored you with his talk which means he spoke to him directly and he wrote and with this is very funny by the way because I thought Adam too he spoke to Allah <laughs> so what do you mean spoke to you directly isn't it Adam who sneezes and Allah he says to him bless you <laughs> isn't it Adam who asked Allah for forgiveness and Allah said to him uh, he asked him for forgiveness in the name of Muhammad and Allah he says to him how you know the name of Muhammad he says I saw it written in the your throne stupidity tons of fiction stories so so he said to him okay Allah he spoke to you directly blah 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 and then he says to you and he wrote the Torah for you on your hand but yet you do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation so in the cult of Islam your sin is not your sin it is sin Allah he decide for you in Christianity we don't have such a thing so if you go and read what Jesus said about the judgment day which no one knows but the father you will see that Jesus is telling us when the judgment day is going to be but not the deed but it is by the act for the judgment day will be by our act not by a written destiny here we have a written destiny which mean it is known Allah wrote your sin Allah he made you sinner even Muhammad he claimed that when you commit adultery it's not you who is an adulteress, it's Allah. Read carefully. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge. Do you believe it? So when you commit adultery, it is not your choice to commit or not to commit. Allah, he fixed, he have it fixed for you. So in Islam, in the cult of Islam, all your sin is already written because this is a decision Allah, he made. It's not you. As you see, it says, verily Allah has fixed the very por por portion of adultery, which a man will include, which, which means you don't have a choice to do or not. In Christianity we don't believe in such a garbage because if you are the one who decides for them how much adultery they will do then why you want to punish them it's you who made them commit adultery the same as the story of Adam if you are the one who wrote the fate of Adam before you created him 40 years before he created Adam so why you kick him out from heaven it's you who made him commit sin this is why Islam is a silly cult stupid cult literally In Christianity, we don't have such a stupid teaching. So, you know, actually, this is remind me when the Muslims, they speak about, uh, uh, about, about Jesus, you know. Uh, remind me when Jesus, he said to them, uh, you predict the, you predict like the, 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 from the weather. You know, like you say, the water. Like we look at the at the, at the at the sky, we see it red. So we predict a storm is going to be. If you go like to Matthew sixteen as an example, uh, let me see if I can open it. Matthew sixteen. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. 
He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, It will be foul weather today, For the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, Ye can discern the face of the sky, But can ye not discern the signs of the times? This is exactly what Jesus is saying to the Muslims. Let us see together how Jesus he informed us about the signs of the time. They are hypocrite. The same verse they say to us that Jesus said that he do not know the hour is the same chapter where Jesus says that he know the hour. So here we ask ourselves. Why the Muslims always the uh, they quote a verse when we quote a verse from them from the Quran it says oh you are taking it out of context why the Muslims don't admit that they are doing exactly the same and why they don't admit that you just admitted that Jesus said clearly that he have a father and why you don't accept the holy chapter why you accept only a verse this is the book this is not a verse only so if we go in Matthew you will see that Jesus saying and let us play the sound. Matthew 24. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Here Jesus telling us about a future which nobody knows. So Jesus did not know the hour, but he knew the temple would be destroyed. How this happened? Let us see. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Wait, see what 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 was the question, guys? What was the question? When is the sign? When is the when is the day, the judgment day? So they they jumped to the end, but they did not read the beginning. Jesus is there. He did not say to them, I don't know. You see, he did not say to them, I don't know. They are asking you when the hour will come. Guys, are you listening? What they are asking him? When the hour will come, he did not say, I don't know. Later we will see that he said that neither the, the, the angels, neither the sun. But look, Jesus here is telling them when the hour will happen. Read, listen carefully. <laughs> listen carefully. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against a nation. But the end is not yet. Don't be don't be scared. The end is not yet. But Jesus do not know. I mean, how Jesus is God? I mean, how Jesus can be God? <laughs> the temple was destroyed exactly as Jesus said. Many people they came and they claimed to be Christ. And he said exactly that there's many people after him will come and claim to be Christ. And he is counting for you. Many things will happen and he did not say I do not know Because the one who do not know the judgment day he do not know those things too And now we will understand what Jesus is talking about listen carefully and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places All these are the beginning of sorrows <clears throat> Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same, shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of... Hold on. <laughs> see, Jesus, 
is counting for us things one after one after one now they just ask him you see Muhammad he, he claimed that when somebody asked him a question he don't answer right away Jibreel he come to him with the answer from God Jibreel they just ask him and Jesus he is answering immediately saying to them how to know when is going to be the hour but what not when the date when is going to be the signs of the hour but not the date for the date is not written for the date is not to be known not for the man not for a human not for anyone for very simple reason because he is saying to you the more sin you commit the faster the judgment they will come you see when Jesus said those things has to come that's mean we have to do them and as long we believe that we have a free will that's mean God is not involved in our free will we have we when we do the sin the more sin we do the faster the day will come and this is what Jesus is saying and this is why he said that I will come to you the same as a thief in the middle of the night which means you shall not be aware and you shall not be told because this is how it should be so you will be vigilant and you should be ready for me and he gave us many example as those who they are waiting for the, the wedding you know they have a lamp in their hands and some they have oil and some they don't have oil the one who have oil is the one which means he have faith and he have have, have believe and the one who don't have oil ah, judgment day is not coming so it's going to be in a surprise so this is because of the wisdom of God not because of the disability of the Messiah let us continue desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things. You see, look what Jesus he just said. There is, there is a Abdul saying, uh, you are confused. You are the one who is confused. You Muslims are even confused about the gender of your God. He keeps saying he, and yet you say to us, Allah is not is not a male. And you say to us, why Jesus is male? Allah himself, he says, if you want to have sex, he will have a wife from the black-eyed women. And yet you say to Allah, you say to us, Allah is not a male. <laughs> you are confused even about the gender of your God. You do not know even what Allah word mean. What the word Allah mean? I never saw a confused cult as Islam. 
Now listen here carefully. Jesus said, when you see the the the, the learn, learn from the parable of the fig tree, when his branches is yet tender, and put forth leaves, you know that the summer is nigh. So all of those things Jesus he said to us is about learning when the judgment day will be, but is not going to know. Yet you is not going to tell you what's going to happen, but it's getting closer and closer and closer for the signs is coming. The same as when winter come, we see the leaves fading down. So we know when the winter is coming. So Jesus here taught us all those things which nobody knows. Yet a Muslim he says to me that Jesus said he do not know. Let us continue the chapter to the end. know that it is near even at the doors verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away no here I'm listening by the way and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only but as the days of no were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, until the day that No entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day, when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I mean, so look here what happened. Jesus told us, actually, this, the, the same chapter, the Muslims don't try to convince us. It's it's a clear evidence that Jesus is not God. It's the same chapter convincing that Jesus is God. He is the one who will come. He is the one who will judge. He knew what will happen. He knew it's going to happen. And now the Muslims saying, okay, how Jesus saying that nobody knows? Neither man, neither human, neither the angels, neither the son, but the father. Well, Jesus said clearly, everything I have is given to me from my father. And Jesus, when he is saying that neither the son, he's talking about himself, the son of a man. Read how many times Jesus is saying the word son of a man. Son of a man, but Jesus is a son of no man. Son of a man, the son of a man, the son of a man, all over. So, how come you did not notice Jesus saying the son of a man is the one who do not know? Which means Jesus in earth is speaking about himself for everything he have is given to him from his father. And that decision of the judgment day is going to happen when it's time for it. And the son of man, he will be the son of God in heaven. And he and the father, they do, they do they do make decision when it's time for it to be. The Messiah himself, he is the judge. He is the judge who will come for judgment day. So the judge who will come in the judgment day, he do not know when the judgment day will happen. He do not know, but he told us all those things will happen for a very simple reason. For the time will come 
when we accomplish our sin God will do decide the judgment day to be it's not about knowing the future it's about we accomplishing the future it's about we making sin you know when when God he burned the cities of uh, 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 Gomorrah the Bible says if there's only ten decent people he will not burn it so the decision of burning the, the city was not pre-written it was not pre or denied it's about how fast those people they are going to be corrupt so all the sin we do is going to make the judgment day to come and it's not for a human being to know for this is going to be a surprise from God for it is not pre-written so let's make it simple we are not the same as the Muslims who believe in faith because if you know faith it's mean you know when the story is ended because you are the one who wrote the story God he gave us a free will and the free will is do whatever you wish as you wish I told you what to do I told you what not to do but the faster you corrupt yourself the faster the judgment will come upon you so the Messiah said to us what we will do to ourselves not only things will happen what we will do for he knew the future but yet the faster we do those things the faster we will have the judgment day this is not about knowing the future this is about this is the wise and this is god justice because if i tell you uh, Okay, tomorrow judgment day. Oh, suddenly everybody is praying and somebody, everybody here repent. So it's not to anyone to know. It's not for anyone to be knowing for a very simple reason. Because you are the one who have to make the judgment day to come to you. It's us. It's not God. Like, let us say you have a box of... Uh, uh, apples hmm? and you know when you are going to throw this box why you are going to throw it if the apples are still good you will not correct so one bad apple will make the rest of the apples bad maybe but God he gave us an option not to be like those apples to fight corruptions so God will not throw that box in fire unless we corrupt ourselves then we are not worthy to be kept. Are we following, guys? Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So Jesus, he knew the time. He told us all those signs. And yet the Muslims, they say, okay, Jesus, he do not know. But isn't it Jesus, he said in Mark, in Matthew, in John, everywhere that everything I have is given to me from my father so at the end of the day it is the father you see there is a there is a, there is a tradition uh, the Jews they have many traditions at the end of the day the tradition is the father is the one in charge of everything there's a children's there's a family there is a, you know, but the father is the one the reason Jesus he called the father father for what reason did you ask yourself? Guys, yes, you understand what I'm saying? Why Jesus he called him father? Why the Muslim don't ask the question for you know, why why he called him father? What about calling him cousin? <laughs> what about calling him uncle? What about calling him uh, 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 anything? He called him father. For the father is the Godhead. He is the one in charge and the Messiah. He is he is a divine. Yes, he is the word of God, which means he is divine. He is God. But still the father is the one who is the father. The father is not the son and the son is not the father. And the Muslims are very confused and very silly. This is what the Trinity is. The Trinity, we do not believe when we say God is one. It does not mean that still that Jesus is a person. And God the Father is a person and the Holy Spirit is a person so you Muslims are very confused because you are very silly
And no, there is nowhere in the Bible I speak about the destiny. He's talking about the destiny of those chosen one, the chosen one, the chosen one, my friend. This is not a destiny as a destiny, which means uh, because Jesus said, not everyone says to me, uh, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. The destiny here is doing the will of the father, which means it is not something he wrote for you. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? So when Jesus says, not everyone says to me, God, okay, say God, God, as much as you want. Still, you will not go to my heaven unless you do his will. But here, he is not forcing you to do his will. He is saying to you, unless you do it. So this is, here is a destiny, which means you choose what God, he wanted for you. God, he says, okay, you want to go to heaven? This is my destiny. You do this, you go to heaven. Those are the chosen one. They are chosen even before they are born. What does that mean? That because God knew what you will do, but he is not forcing you to do. That is total different destiny from the cult of Islam. Are you getting the point? Do we understand, guys? If we are going to do what we are forced to do, then, you know, uh, then we're what the point of going to heaven? <laughs> If we will do the same as the story of Muhammad, you know, uh, uh, Allah, he wrote for us our our uh, our destiny. And then we do what Allah wrote for us. So why I'm punished? Not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that even a child, even a child, I don't know what Jonathan you are trying to say. Uh, even a child, he died who is an infant. Muhammad, he claimed that there's no guarantee that he will go to heaven or not. Why? Because Allah, he wrote in the destiny of this baby before he was created. A child, he died and he is from a Muslim family. Aisha, she said, he is going to be a bird from the bird of paradise. Muhammad, he says, bear adventure, Aisha. It might be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. Why? Because Allah created the deliverers of the paradise and the deliverers of hell before uh, he decided who they will be before he created them. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? Uh, you claim that predestination and the lack of free will is from Islam you know you can if you want to try to give interpretation as you wish we just explain it the Bible is so clear it's not up to you when Jesus says when Jesus says not everyone's you know uh, uh, say to me God God will go to heaven but the one who do his will that is what destiny is about which means there's a destiny of death there's a destiny of life there's a destiny of hell there's a destiny of fire that is the destiny we are talking about and there's a destiny that those who they are chosen what does that mean there's people who they are chosen to be with God but why they are chosen for they do his will so their destiny is guaranteed by their act did you get it mr. Jonathan so your act is your destiny it is not a destiny written for you. And the Bible is a book, is not a verse. So what some people, they do, they try to make from a verse a book. It's not up to you. Why God, he judged Adam? Is that because God, he wrote to Adam to commit sin, as Muhammad, he said? No. God, he don't want Adam to commit sin. This is why even the Bible says that God is sad for them. He's for, sorry for them. So stop fooling yourself. Same time, why a child he will go to hell? Why a child will go to hell? Because Muhammad, he claimed that God, he created people of hell while or, or heaven while they are in the in, in, they are even not even a sperm in the backbone of their parents <clears throat> their father do you see it 
so Muhammad claimed that your destiny is written and your career of deeds is written it is not something you can change it is not your act you are just an infant here we go we have an infant he did not commit sin even Aisha she said he neither commit sin or reach even the age of sin do you see it guys now we answered you about about the Messiah what about we look at Muhammad and his God do Allah know the judgment day do Muhammad know the judgment day do Allah know the judgment day they don't the Quran says that Allah said not me that the judgment day is near and the moon is split but that was 1400 years ago and neither the moon split and neither the judgment day did come so you try to misquote a verse from the Bible trying to understand it the way you are claiming and I challenge you to explain to me the holy chapter and tell me that Jesus is not God and here you notice when Jesus speak about future even the Quran confirmed that Jesus he can tell you what you hide in your and, 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 and he can even read your mind if it show you from the Quran and the Quran says that nobody knows the unseen save Allah read carefully <clears throat> This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. And appoint to him, translation between two bracket, a messenger for the children of Israel. Supposedly the Messiah is a messenger for the children of Israel. And here you notice the stupidity of the Quran author. Anyone knows what is the stupidity? What is the name of the book of Isa according to Muslims, guys? What is the name of the book of Isa? In jail. So how how Isa was sent to Israel, but his book name is in Greek. I mean, have you ever heard of a silly stupid God like this? So Isa, he is a Hebrew, speak Hebrew, but his book name is in jail. So imagine I wrote my book in English, but the name is in Arabic. And here you notice that Muhammad is nothing but a false potato. Then he continue. He says, I have to come to you with signs from your Lord. The Muslim, they will say, this is a sign from Allah. It doesn't matter. The one who is doing the sign is Jesus. Listen carefully. And that I make for you. I, guys, does it say I? Does it say I? I. I make for you out of the clay as it were a figure of a bird. And then I breathe. You see here, they did not add the eye, but there's an eye. But anyway, there's an eye in the beginning. And they breathe into it. Who is the one who will breathe? Jesus. How Allah, according to the Quran, he made Adam, he breathed into Adam. Jesus, he do breathe, he give life. And it become a bird. Then the Muslim, they say to you, by the will of Allah, will approve it. Secondly, by the will of Allah or not, that will not change the fact that the one who breathes is Jesus. The one who gave life is Jesus. That makes Jesus a creator. Then I heal. It's not Allah heal. I heal those who born blind. I heal the leper. I quicken that I quicken the death, the dead. And then they say to you, by Allah leave. It doesn't matter what by Allah leave. Prove it. I can claim now that Jesus, he did this by my leave. Talk is a cheap. I declare to you, and look here, I declare to you what you ate and what you store in your houses. How Jesus can declare to you that? Muhammad, he said in the Quran that he knew nothing of the future. If he knew of it, he will take the benefit of it. So how come Jesus, he knew the future when Allah, only the one who knows the future, 
why Allah did not give Muhammad the future and how Muhammad do not know the future but yet he speak to us about what the judgment day let us show you Muhammad making poopoo -poo, explaining the judgment day Muhammad he claimed that there is signs of the judgment day claiming that Allah is the one who told him those signs one of the signs of the judgment day that the Roman they will be the major population of mankind do you see it <laughs> now how you are questioning Jesus but you are not questioning the stupidity and the false prophecy of Allah because the one who made this false prophecy is not Muhammad supposedly it is Allah Muhammad is telling you what Allah told him Kabich based on this Allah he do not know the judgment day because if he knew the judgment day he should not say such a stupid thing what the Roman are the majority of mankind what is that so now we have to wait until the Roman became majority of mankind what we will do we will nuke China we will nuke Japan we will nuke Indonesia we will nuke the Philippines we will Bangladesh India the Roman are the majority of the population of the world and Allah is God so if Allah is God he should not say such a stupid statement about the judgment day obviously he's not what about Muhammad he claimed that before the judgment day the people of Gog and Magog they will attack you and they will throw their arrows at you mm -hmm. and then when Gog and Magog throw their arrows the Muslims they will light their fire from their arrows for seven years arrows which is made from wood in the judgment day so now in the judgment day we will use arrows so, so why Saudi Arabia is buying the F-16 and F etc and why the Iranian they want to make a nuke and why the Pakistani making nuke if the Gog and Magog they would use arrows this is a sign of the judgment day somebody's asking me question when the father is the most powerful then then why we pray uh, to Jesus not to visible to, to invisible God the father who said we don't pray that to the father when they asked Jesus how to pray what we, what he said he says our father out of heaven didn't he however Jesus said the one who saw me he saw the father which means you pray to the father you pray to him too Get it? The one who saw me, he saw the Father, for Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. Jesus says, My Father is the greater than me. Why? Because Jesus is coming to us in the flesh of a man. That's why he keeps calling himself the Son of a man, the Son of a man, the Son of a man. So Jesus says to you, pray and say the following our father out of heaven so we go back do Allah knew the signs of the judgment day Muhammad he claimed that the Roman will be victorious in a few years and then the Roman they were not victorious in a few years and then we discover that Muhammad he made this verse the Muslims they, they make a big fuss about it after the Roman been victorious not before the Muslim they make big big noise about this how the prophet he he prophesied the victory of the Roman read the story 
Abu Sa'id narrated on the day of Badr, the Roman had a victory over the Persian. So the believer were pleased with that. With that. Then the following was revealed. Alif Lam Mim, the, the Roman have been defeated up to his saying, the believers will rejoice. So this is a verse was given after the Roman being victorious. Have you ever heard of a prophecy like this? Imagine Trump, he became a president in the year 2016. And now I am prof prophesied that Trump will be a president in 2016. But we are in 2019. Don't you think that the prophecy is too much late? What about I prophesy for you the weather yesterday? Is that will make you happy? So when the Muslim they talk about Jesus, all the point of the Muslims is trying to downgrade Jesus for you. Jesus is no one for them. They claim that they love Jesus, but in fact, they they love to insult Jesus. If you believe in what's written in Mark 13, then be honest, says I believe in the holy chapter of Mark 13, where Jesus says, I will come. I will come. The son of the man will come with the glory of his angels. His angels, his angels, he will be in the cloud and he will be the judge. And by the way, even Muhammad, he said that the judgment day will not come until the Messiah will come and he will be Hakaman Muqsitan. What does that mean? absolute judge of justice so Muhammad confirmed that the Messiah is the judge do you see it the judgment day will not come unless the Messiah will come between you and he will be judging and absolute justice. This is about the Messiah. Question, who is judge of justice save God? Nobody can be judge of justice, no man, no human. For in order to know, in order to judge, you have to be perfect. Perfect in knowledge, perfect in balance, and perfect of the unseen. People cannot lie to you. They cannot hide the truth. They cannot tell something and do something else. You know what they are hiding. So how Jesus is just a man? And here you will see Muhammad making something very silly as usual. The Messiah is going to kill the pig. I mean, have you ever heard of a silly God like this? Allah, he have an enemy. His name is Mr. Pig. So Allah now will send the Messiah in a very action uh, mission. Sylvester Stallone, Isa. Isa will come and he have a big sword. And with his big sword, he is going to kill Mr. Pig because Mr. Pig is number one enemy to Allah and he will destroy the cross. So imagine in the judgment day, the Messiah is going to stand in the front of this pig and he will say to him, I'm talking about the Muslim Messiah, the funny Messiah of Islam. Hey pig, you are the enemy of Allah and I'm coming to kill you. Allahu Akbar. The pig, he says, okay, try. I don't even care. I'm smoking cigarette now. Do you see I'm shaking? I'm not. And then the Messiah, he will say, okay, grab your gun. <laughs> this is a God. This is a God. His worry about little poor animal is, is, is a pig. He will send the Messiah to kill a pig. I mean, what is the connection between killing a pig with and the Messiah? How stupid that silly religion is.
a pig I mean at least make it of an elephant this is what God is about and judgment day will not happen until we kill the pig which one what what this pig he did any Muslim can tell us what the crime this pig he did did he eat the cheese of Allah what is that and then he will he will he will break the cross which cross which cross he will break I mean this is silly every house have a, have a cross the electric column is a cross cross the street my friend so Jesus will come and break the cross which one so do your God know the judgment day a God who know the judgment day he claimed that the man is coming from a sperm and then he turned into be a blood if you do not know how the human who is made here in earth we are not talking about some the creature who live in the uh, in the seven eleven galaxy we are talking about a human who live in earth yet Allah he could not figure out how this human is created Read carefully. This is God. God, He believed that then we made the sperm into a congealed blood. Your God do not know the sperm, how it made it. Uh, and different verse, He said the sperm is coming from the backbone. So, how a person who claim to be God he do not know even such a stupid thing a sperm where it's coming from and what the sperm will be and he claimed that the sperm will be transformed into a blood which is a dead blood and then the, the, the that blood will be a baby your God he teach that the Sun sit in the murky water and just yesterday we have a Muhammadan who says yes this is true the sun set in the murky water is proving to be scientifically accurate your God he believe that there is a sin that the, the Sun have a have a have a sitting place what is that I want to go I want to go and take a selfie your God he believe that the Sun have a resting place And here the Muslim they try to explain this and they say no 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 Allah is not saying that the Sun sit in the murky water no 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 he's saying to you that the guy who went there he thought yeah right where it says that it says Allah is talking not the guy he says until when he reached the sitting place of the Sun like this translation he says sitting it says the sitting place of the Sun he found it said he found it when Allah he says he found it is he reporting a find I mean, do you speak English? Do you speak Arabic? It says in Arabic, He found it. He did not say he thought. He said he found it. And when you say, you went home, he went home, and he found his car is burned or stolen. I am not saying he thought. Because the word for thought is different. I should not say he found it do we agree guys when I say we he found it it's mean I am reported to what reporting what he found not what he thought there's a huge difference between he found and he thought so he found it and then the Muslim they try to argue so what we do we go and we get Muhammad the prophet of the Abdul get them busted because the prophet of the Abdul he cannot keep his mouth shut and the more he talk the more he get the Abdul busted look what Muhammad he said Abu Dhar he said the campaign of the prophet he said I was sitting behind Allah messenger s-a-w-s -S. this is like a new Mercedes-Benz 
and who was riding a donkey while the sun setting he asked do you know where this set I replied Allah and his apostle knows best he said it's set in a spring of warm water so you are saying to me that Jesus do not know the judgment day after all what he told you and you are not worried about your prophet teaching you claiming that Allah told him look the guy he did not say the prophet he is guessing he said Allah and he is a prophet he know better he knows best not only better he knows best so Muhammad he associate his knowledge with the knowledge of Allah he did not say oh don't don't involve Allah I'm guessing no 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 he agree Allah and his apostle knows best so this is the knowledge of Allah the Sun set in the murky water and the Muslims in order to get away from this they say to you ah this hadith is daif it is not it is not and it's confirming the Quran so Allah do not know the judgment day Allah he know nothing the Muslim they say to us Islam will dominate the world Muhammad he prophesy that Islam will die so even with their claim they prove Muhammad to be a false prophet guys yeah, do you see the hadith do you see it? Does it say that nobody would do Hajj no more? Does it say that or I'm making things up? Judge, the judgment day will happen. Gog and Magog, uh, by the way, uh, shall we talk about Gog and Magog? We, we mentioned it. Gog and Magog, they are creatures. Some Muslims, they think they are human, but obviously they are not because the description is very funny. Their right ear is very big and they sleep inside it like a tent. I wish like I have an ear like this. So Muhammad he claimed that in the same chapter 18, where Alexander the Great he found where the sun set in the murky water, he continued walking and then he found a, a, a people who they are complaining from very evil creatures. They are called Gog and Mago and they ask him to build a dam. And that dam, every day now they are digging in it. But when they finish every night before they go to sleep, uh, Allah He fixed it. And then one day, when they finish digging before they go to sleep, their leader will say, Insha Allah, tomorrow we will come back and we will finish it. And this is the time where Allah will stop fixing the hole, which they made from the day previously. So they will be able to go through. So Muhammad saying that the hour will not come. Where just where, where Gog and Magog will will uh, will come, and tell people they abandon the the the, the Kaaba. Nobody do Hajj. Do you see it? So why you keep saying that the Muslims they will be the majority of mankind? Why you say Islam will be the biggest religion when Muhammad saying Islam will be the lowest religion to the point nobody go to Hajj? And by the way, where we can find Gog and Magog? I want to talk to them. Hmm? Muhammad he claimed that you will fight people who their faces like faces are like hammered, making making fun of the Asian people maybe, because he speak about the Turkish. Jesus say is Rat Hashim. What is Rat Hashim? Suppose you are translating now, you are translating Hebrew. 
uh, Fadi supposedly now he knew Hebrew. <laughs> uh, what about you quote for me, Elijah, which means God with us according to Mimi Hijab? You know, when we speak about the will of God, the will of God, if God will, that's mean we are people of humble and we don't oppose God, but God, he gave us a free will to do things in our life. When I say God is willing, I will come tomorrow and I will talk to you because my life, my life is not mine. Is going to be taken from me one day. So this is not about what you are talking about. Same time here, why you don't answer where we can find Gog and Magog? Where are those Gog and Magog? You're a prophet, he said, that Gog and Magog, they are one, uh, you know, uh, each one of us is equal to, uh, uh, to a thousand of them. Oh, sorry, which means, I mean, yeah, as a number, yeah, one of us, like from every one of us, there will be 999.9 from them. So how that can be? Right? You are not from Israel. You are from Hamas, maybe. You have nothing to do with it. You see, he just admitted that he is from Israel. Did you see? The Muslim, he just admitted he is from Israel. Even the Quran. Um, have you ever heard of a God who do not know the future? Look, an additional proof that Allah is a false God. Allah in the Quran, He promised the Jews the land. Question Why Allah He promised it to the Jews, not to Hamas? Why he never mentioned the word Palestinians? Not only that, Allah, he ordered them to kill those people who live there. Do you see it? Do you see it? And because the Jews, they refused to kill the people who live there, Allah, he punished them and he forbid them from getting inside the holy land for 40 years but the holy land is a promise given to the jews only in the quran if allah knew the future then why he promised the jews to go there why allah he sent the jews there if he knew that this would be for the muslims is that correct guys why he's why what what oh, the war right now happening there because of Allah Allah is messed up Allah he sent the Jews there he told them this is a land is given to you assigned into you take it and even kill whoever live there the Quran saying that do Allah is he aware hmm uh, 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 Fadi 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 you see the verses you are giving me the, the verses you are giving me is a proof to me that Islam is a, is a false cult. Are you willing to call me Fadi so we can love together? Are you? The verse you just gave me. Are you willing to call so we can laugh? The same chapter you gave me. Are you willing to call? I will open sky for you. Do you dare? The chapter you gave me, as it is. Is the Hebrew Bible is the same as the Old Testament? The Old Testament is written in many languages, not only in Hebrew. Ah, you are willing to listen? No, I'm willing to get. get I'm willing to get you busted, <laughs> my friend. Just to show you, here it says, here it says that وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ False translation. What translation you like, uh, Fadi? What translation is best for you? Uh, 
read carefully guys you see when you change the translator how everything changed look at the look, look at the stupidity of this cult and we decreed for the children of Israel in the scripture mm -hmm. what scriptures that indeed you would miss do mischief on the earth twice and you will become uh, a train it's and extremely arrogant guys does it say there and we decreed does it say and we decreed anyone notice here something stupid so if the Jews are bad according to Islam but Allah is the one who decreed that they will be bad who is the stupid here Are you there, Fadi? This is what you gave me. Imagine I decreed that you will be bad, and then I will punish you for I decreed that you will be bad. <laughs> and by the way, the Jews will be decreed twice. Decreed only twice. Huh? But the Jews they did a lot of wrong things according to the Bible itself not only the Quran what twice only twice what does God is talking about when was the first time and when was the second time yeah I know you believe in destiny but your destiny is stupid because if Allah made you bad why he want to punish you for he made you bad you see how stupid your cult is if Allah may imagine Allah created your chicken and then he will he will punish you for making you if, because he may, because you are a chicken how stupid that is he decreed that every human being will do a portion of sin and he wrote that for him as a decreed and then he will punish you for what he decreed for you the same as we saw between the debate between Adam and Moses. Adam, he says to Moses, do you blame me for what Allah decreed for me to do, to do 40 years before he created me? Stupid cult. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? So when you Muslims you speak about Jesus that he is not God quote the same chapter you are reading from and you will see that there it's proving that he is God the same verse you are reading for us remember Jesus saying my father remember the same chapter you are reading from it says that Jesus will be the judge shame on you do we have any Muslim want to say something The Muslim they say that Allah he call himself we because he is majestic but this is stupid because you know if you are copying we because you like it because that make you majestic that's mean you are a silly person correct guys if a language will make you majestic that's mean this is a language thing are you majestic for real or just a language because I can say me we too However, the Quran is a silly book and Allah if he like to say we why he say he if we is better why he say it is he All right That verse confirmed that the Jews and the Christians say that Israeli are chosen people this is an example of false claim. Okay, guys, just to show you how silly Muslims are. That verse claim that the Christians and the Jews they claim that the Jews are chosen people. <laughs> you know, Fadi, each time you come here, you read and you are read.
the Jews they claim that they are chosen people isn't it your God let me get you busted chapter 2 verse number 47 and you are the one who said that this is false all those verses in front of us saying that Israel is a chosen people chapter 2 verse number 247 take your pant off so we can start spanking fatty uh, tell, call your mom to give you some Vaseline Oh children of, of Israel remember my favor which I bestowed upon you and I preferred you from all mankind and even genie do you see it do you see it you say to us that the Christian and the Jews they say that is the Jews are the chosen one and this is false guys did he say that did he say that let us let us put it in the screen again no, Fadi is saying to himself what I did to myself today. Huh? Huh? What I did to myself today. Hmm. This is what he said. Let me take a snapshot. So we can put it in the screen next to the others. You know, Fadi, you are going to enter the book of Genesis, uh, Genesis, sorry, for, uh, uh, for spanking. I mean, each time you come here, you do something and boom, you get spanked. And then you wonder why. Like, wonder how, I wonder why. And I, want, I can see a blue, blue sky. And ZB is spanking me. I make my head up and down. So you said, and let us read carefully what Mr. Haroon said. The verses. The verses confirm that the Jews and the Christians say that Israelists are chosen people. This is an example of the false claim that Islam is an antichrist. Hmm? This is a great example that Islam falsely claimed that Islam is Antichrist. Just to show you how silly you are. First of all, when you say that Islam is an, an Antichrist, Muhammad, he said, I am the Antichrist. Which one we will believe? Isn't Muhammad, he said, I am the eraser who will erase Christianity? Why he want to erase Christianity? And the son and the silly, look how he contradict himself. Once he say he is the eraser, and once he say the Roman, there will be the majority of mankind <laughs> in the judgment day. And we will go back, by the way, to the chosen people, the Jews. Muhammad he said, I have five names. One of them is Al Mahi. Okay, what Muhammad is going to erase? Is that a Christianity? Hmm? Now, the verse here, the one it says that Allah he favored the Jews upon other people. Proving that destiny in Islam is a stupid and the correct is to believe in Christianity. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Because if Allah, he choose the wrong one to be his favorite, that means Allah, he do not know the future. Correct? If I choose you, and I favor you upon all mankind and you are not a good person isn't it clear that what Muhammad said that Allah he knew Allah he decree Allah he made destiny didn't we just showed you a verse before that it says that Allah he decree that the Jews they will be bad twice he decree okay so why you choose the one who decree they will be bad 
so you choose them you favor them but you decree for them they will be bad who's 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 a stupid here guys are you following Allah he decreed to the Jews that <laughs> I mean this cult is really crazy <laughs> how you decreed how you decreed that the Jews will be bad people huh read it you decreed that they will be bad and then you say to me that you favor the bad Who is the silly here? I decreed that the Jews will be bad. And this is my decree. And then I favor the bad to be the favorite of mankind and even genie. What is that? If they don't miss the way the Jews then why Jesus came to earth? Yeah, but you see, this is in Christianity. We don't believe in decreed. <laughs> you see, Fadi, here we have a problem. Allah, he decreed that the Jews will be bad. That's mean the Jews are not bad. The bad is Allah. Number two, why Allah, he chose the Jews and he favored them. If he is the one who decreed they will be bad, who is the stupid here? Why he did not decree, you know, uh, favor the Arab? What about favoring the Chinese? Why he chose the Jews if the Jews are bad? So he decreed that the Jews will be bad, but yet he favored the Jews upon all mankind. Are you there, Fadi? Are you searching Google? Now, another point. Uh, Allah, because he's a smart God. Look what he did. <clears throat> I have a problem with my keyboard for some reason sometime the keyboard is typing the wrong letters all right oh boy guys read with me this uh, fadi i want you to read this <laughs> allah not only know do not know the judgment day not only do not know how the baby is created not only not do not remember which one he created first the mountains the trees the stars allah here he says something very silly read with me carefully it was we who revealed the law to moses therein was guidance and light but its standard have been judge the jews by the prophets who bowed as between to bracket in islam fabrication doesn't say that to allah will by the rabbis and the doctors of the law for them was entrusted the protection of allah book have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this if allah he knew the future why he say he trusted the Jews to protect the book? Isn't it him who said, I decree that they will be bad? So you decree they will be bad and you trust them to protect the book? What the word trust mean? Guys, what 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 it's mean to say I trust you? It's mean I believe, I believe in you to be good, correct? It's what trust mean. I believe you are trustworthy. So if I trust somebody and later I discover that he is not trustworthy, that's mean I made a wrong decision. That's mean I do not know the future. So why Allah here using the trust?
Allah, he made a mistake. He trusts the wrong people to protect the book. And by the way, why the Jews should protect the book of Allah? Have you ever heard that Allah, his God, and Jews who die? I mean, we are a human. We are a human. What about he protect the book? So did Allah made the wrong trust? Obviously, this is this is what it says. And to make it more stupid, it says that Allah is the one who decreed that the Jews are bad. So you made them bad and you trust them to protect the good? How silly are you? It's like, guys, I'm going to hire some ants to protect my sugar. He ants. Uh, remember, Suleiman, he speak to the ants. So Suleiman, now he, he understand the ants. Brother Tita, Prophet Suleiman, he said, I am going to add the ant to protect my sugar. Then he took a bunch of ants and he put them in the kitchen. And he told them, I wanted to watch over my sugar. And then the brother of Suleiman, he came back and he found there's no sugar. Because at the end of the day, they are ants. And the ants, they like sugar. So he protected the ants. To, he, he, he entrusted the ants to protect the sugar. And then he did not find the sugar is, the sugar is gone. I mean, how silly is that? Hmm? Allah never mist make mistakes. We think this way that he made. <laughs> what do you mean? What what Abraham? If he is the one who decreed, they will be bad. And how Allah he he entrusted them. I mean, do you see the word entrust in them? What what is that? <laughs> What a silly religion. So look, this God, he know nothing. The Quran is full of errors and mistakes. History error. Uh, Mary is the sister of Aaron. Uh, nice to meet you, Isa. Isa is the, is, is the nephew of Musa, according to Muhammad. Mary and Musa and Aaron, they have the same father. And where Muhammad, he got this from? Because he's an idiot. He got it from the Old Testament. But the Old Testament is not talking about Maryam, the mother of Jesus, talking about Maryam, the sister of, of Musa. So Muhammad, he learned from the Jews that the Old Testament says that Maryam, there's a woman, her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron and she is the sister of Musa. So Muhammad, he put it and said, okay, Maryam must be the sister of Aaron. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> what Allah knows. Hmm? Haman, Haman is is a is a is a minister for Pharaoh. <laughs> Moses, he was in the time of the Samarian. How Moses he met the Samarian? Huh? Muhammad قال ألا أخبرتهم أنهم كانوا يسمون بأسماء الصالحين فادي saying that they asked Muhammad that this is a mistake Kabul Ahbar he came to Aisha Kabul Ahbar a Jewish guy who was a Jew supposedly he, 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 he became a Muslim supposedly he said to Aisha that the Prophet said that Aaron is the brother of Mary but as I know there's many hundreds of years between Maryam the mother of Jesus and Aaron so Aisha she uh, Aisha she said to him you are a liar <laughs> you, are a... <laughs> you are a liar <laughs> Let us let us find the hadith. Uh, let us see if we can find it in English. So Muhammad, after he got busted, they they told him that he said, "Oh, in that time they used to call by their ancestor." Just let me get you busted again, uh, 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 Fadi. Mary, she is not from the uh, uh, ancestor of Musa's. This is how stupid your prophet is. Musa is from different tribe, so he is not her ancestor. Even this one is stupid. 
I look like I cannot find it here. Let us see. But we can find it in Al Qurtubi. So when you give me this answer saying that Mary she was called by her ancestor, but Mary she is not from the ancestor of Moses, that is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. How Moses can be the ancestor of Mary? Do you see how silly your answer is and how silly the, your prophet answer? If I am from different tribe, how they are the ancestor? Hey, my friend, I, 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 I do not need to type. I do not. Here we go. This is the Tafsir al-Quran in front of my eyes and you speak Arabic. Kabul Ahbar, he came to, to, to Aisha and he said to her, وَقَالَ كَعْبُ الْأَحْبَارِ بِحَضْرَةِ عَائِشَةِ أُمُّ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهَا إِنَّ مَرْيَمَ لَيْسَتْ بِأُخْتِ هَارُونَ أَخِي مُوسَى فَقَالَتْ لَهُ عَائِشَةَ كَذِبْتْ Do you see what Aisha said? When he said to her, as I know, Maryam is not the sister of Aaron. Aisha, she said, you are a liar. That's mean, this is what Muhammad was teaching all this time. Until this guy, he got him busted. And then after he got busted, and look what he says. He said to her, oh, mother of the believers, if the prophet, he said that, so, you know, to be honest with you, he is more truthful because now he's afraid he will be killed. He is better and he know better. But I, as I know, there's more than 600 years be between them. And for sure, 600 years is not, is not correct too. If we translate this, let it translate. Here we go. <laughs> and by the way, Muhammad he claimed that when 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 Aaron, the brother of Moses, he died, there's people they came in his funerals. All of them, they are forty thousand, but all the forty thousand, their name is Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> brothers when christian prince he died brother forty thousand people brother they went in his funeral and all the forty thousand brother their name is the christian prince <laughs> and now look kabul ahbar said in the presence of aisha the mother of the believer may allah bless her that mary is not the sister of aaron uh, uh, the brother of Moses, Aisha says to him, "You lied." You see here, the translation is coming wrong. So Aisha, she did not say this. The prophet did not mean that. We knew that she is not. Aisha said, "You are a liar." So Muhammad, he was teaching that this is why the guy he came to correct him, and after he got him busted, he says, "Okay, uh, at that time they used to call them by their ancestor, but that is a stupid answer too." Because Maryam, she is not from the ancestor of Moses. Stupid answer again. Was Mary from the ancestor of Moses, you idiot? Any Abdul? And not only that, the Quran claimed that, and Muhammad claimed that Mary, the Maryam, the mother of Jesus, her father's name, his name is what? Umran. Okay, what is the name of the father of Aaron? Hey, Fadi, what is the name of the father of Aaron? Can you give me the name? Righteous people? They call them by the name of the righteous people? Guys, they called him by the name of the righteous people. So why he did not call her by Moses? Why he says the sister of Aaron? Who is more righteous? Aaron or Moses in Islam? <laughs> what about David? Hmm? What about Suleiman? Why, why Aaron? Can you tell the people in the chat what is the name of the father of Aaron? Okay, guys, guys, 
Ah, another Omron. See, guys, it's a it's a coincidence. It happened that both of them they have the same name of the same father. But look, this is again is a stupid lie because the father of Omron, the father of uh, neither the father of Mary and neither the father of Moses or Aaron is his name is Omron. Again, your prophet got busted. There's a huge difference between Umram and Umran. Umram. Have you ever heard of a God? He cannot quote a Hebrew name correctly. The father of Aaron is not Umran. And the father of Mary is not Umran too. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. I mean, even the name of the father of Mary, he do not know it. Hey, people, is the name of the father of Mary is Umran? <laughs> By the way, my father's name is Umran too. And by the way, when Amran he died, there was 40,000 in his funeral. All of their name, their name is Aaron. Look like the Jews, they have no name to call except Amran. Everybody, his father, his name is Amran. So Amran is the father of Mary. Amran is the father of Aaron. Uh, 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 Amran is the father of Maryam. Amran is the father of, uh, of uh, Moses. I mean, Amran is the, that's it. Everybody there is Amran. What's your, what's your uh, Amran? What's your father? Amran. Okay. Even Netanyahu, by the way, Benjamin Netanyahu, his name, Benjamin bin Amran, not Netanyahu. This is the real name. Go check it out. Yeah. No, it's mentioned. No, it's mentioned in the Bible. You are, you are an ignorant. Just type in Google two words and you will see the Bible mention what is the name of the father of Mary. But you are just a silly person. Just type in Google. Google, Google, Google. So you are worried about Jesus not knowing the judgment day as you claim? Look at this guy. Every chapter is a stupid. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muslim when I show me something amazing in the Quran? Forget about our topic. Who want to show me something good about the Quran? What was your Muslim name? I never been a Muslim. Do I look a fool for you? You think me? I will believe that there is a God. His name is Allah. Nobody knows what his mean his name mean. Nobody saw him. Nobody spoke to him. And there's a prophet who have the power of forty men in sex. He will be my prophet. And you want me to believe? That there is a prophet if I believe in him Allah will give me the power of 40 men for boom boom and he will give me 72 women at least and you want me to believe that I will go to heaven and I will wear a bracelet and a green silk trouser brother and I will sit and recline in a couch I have a couch here guys I have a couch in my uh, believe me I, 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 I swear by the moon and the star I have a couch I did not use it even for 10 years I don't sit in it God God of the heaven and the earth he is a promising me a couch uh -huh. what about the story of Noah is it similar to the story of the Bible so how could Islam again hear be anti Bible if it's confirmed what is mentioned. Your prophet is copying from the Jews. I mean, look at this stupidity here. 
so if you're a prophet copy the Jews that will make him he's confirming and by the way even the story of Noah and the Quran is wrong let me ask you fatty how Noah he was able to gut the lion inside the ship can you tell us fatty guys Allah he made the lion have a flu sick and Noah, he grabbed him from his tail, he put him in the ship. And then Noah, he found that in his ship, unwanted visitor, a mice. And Noah got worried. How he is going to have a mice who will eat his food? But Allah, he made the lion sneeze. How? Achoo! Hachu and a cat came from the mouth of the lion. Am I lying, Fadi? Are you there, Fadi? And you are telling me that the story of Noah is the same as the story in the Bible? What? Hello? Oh, hello. By the way, those things happen only in the, the Middle East. You know, I, actually, I remember uh, uh, once my mom, she brought us an elephant uh, to eat him like, you know, for a snack, you know. And the elephant, he had uh, a flu, okay? So he sneezed and uh, a giraffe came out, big giraffe, you know. And this giraffe, by the way, came out right away she said alhamdulillah is rough speak arabic this is a true story yeah when jesus he speak about no man knows and not even the son and we explained it already you know we do not need to repeat ourselves But obviously, Jesus, he knew the hour, he knew the time, he knew the future, and he told us in the same chapter the Muslims they are quoting is saying, he gave us all the details. When we say that the Messiah, you know, when, when we speak about God, you see the Muslims, they have different image of God. In Islam, everything is a decree, which means everything is a destiny preset. We don't have that. Ma'arakat al-Ahzab, it's a clear proof that Allah saved Muhammad and, and the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay, let me show you this. Fadi is saying the war of al-Ahzab is a proof that Allah he saved the Muslims. What about uh, this uh, fatty? <clears throat> Allah said to Muhammad, O Prophet of Allah, urge the believer to fight. If there are 20 steadfast persons among you, they will overcome 200. What? 220 to 200, which means 1 to 10. And if there are 100 steadfast persons, they will overcome 1,000. The Muslim, they went and their ass was kicked badly. They came and Muhammad right away to cover his bum. Look what he said. Now, brother and sister, now, Allah lighten your task. For he knows that there is a weakness. Uh, now Allah, he discovered the weakness. N now he discovered the weakness. A verse before it, he do not know. So uh, Allah, he know that you have a weakness. So if they are... Of you, a hundred steadfast person, they will overcome two hundred. Look what happened. 
from uh, 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 20 will fight 200 to 100 will fight 200 do you see how big the difference is the change are you there fatty you see how much Allah he knows now he knew the weakness so what happened and here by the way if Allah is God and he promised them victory anyway who care if they are one one hundred one thousand if God is with me who could be against me correct guys if there is one person and there is the Soviet Union want to fight him but this person his God is with him who is going to win this person Uh, what Allah intervened this is your fiction my friend I can show you tons of his stories but if I want to go over over those uh, things you know it will take me forever uh, but hold on hold on so you are saying to me Allah he defend them in the chapter of Rahza but here he did not defend them he promised them that one of you will fight ten and he did not make it he did not keep his promise there he kept his promise according to you <laughs> You know, to make you a liar, it's enough to lie once. Is that correct, guys? If you lie once, you are a liar. So if you are trying to fool yourself, saying, okay, there he protected them, here he did not, that's when Allah is a liar. He just told them, one can fight ten. That's it. You don't say, I found a weakness on you. This is God. What found weakness on you? And how he correct the weakness? He correct the number. That's mean the weakness is not on them. The weakness in his, his calculation. Because they are the same people. Nothing changed. They are the same believers, the same names, the same persons. So how you say that you will win? It's for a wisdom. Yeah, wisdom my bum. Guys, it's, this is for wisdom. <laughs> Allah is making a wisdom here. <laughs> so I, I say to my son, go and fight 10 people. And then my son come and his nose is like a potato. And his head is like all full of injuries. And he lost an arm and a leg. And then I say, uh, I think I know you have a weakness now. So tomorrow you don't fight 1 to 10. Tomorrow you fight 1 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <coughs> there were are any Islamic prophet between Jesus and Muhammad. According to the hadith, uh, Muhammad he said that there is no uh, uh, any uh, messenger or prophet between him and the Isa. However, if you go to chapter 36 in the Quran, you will see Muhammad is speaking about the three messengers. Those are the messengers of Jesus. And the interpretation of the scholars acknowledge them as John and uh, Peter and Paul. Yet the Muslims, they call Paul all kind of names. And this is shown as the ignorance of the Muhammadan. They are copying, uh, you know, did that since did that start attacking, and then the Muslims they follow. But you will see that the Muslim scholars they never attack Paul. Not only that, they consider Paul as a messenger of Allah. And here you will notice the stupidity because if Jesus is a prophet, how Paul and Peter and John they are messengers of you know of God. How you can deny then the Islamic astonishing conquest following the death of Muhammad uh, that within one year the caliphate extend from Andalus to India you are a stupid my friend what one year it took you forever what one year your prophet he could not even uh, you know even in the time of your prophet almost Muhammad he was demolished when he have the war with the with the uh, with the one you call him Musaylama, almost if if the guy he won the war Muhammad is gone, and after Muhammad he die, people they left Islam immediately. This is why you have another war. It's called the War of Apostate. So what do you mean within a year? And then after that, the Muslims they killed Uthman, the one who 
uh, expanded Islam is Abu Sufyan and Abu Sufyan is not a Muslim and the Quran says that the Quran says that Abu Sufyan and his family Muhammad he paid them money to convert to Islam is that correct uh, Fadi the one who spread Islam is not a Muslim Muhammad he spent the money a lot of money from the money he stole to do what to those who have adopted in their heart who are they to attract the heart of those who have been inclined toward Islam Muhammad he bought them and this is what the interpretation says your prophet he gave Abu Sufyan 100 camel for each one of his family and four ounces of gold and silver whatever you know like a, a lot of money and that made Abu Sufyan agree to announce that he's a Muslim and Abu Sufyan family is the one who spread Islam not Muhammad and here you will see that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God because if God want to make his Islam spread by somebody, he is a hypocrite. He convert to Islam by paying him money. What kind of God this God is? Is that correct, Fadi, or I'm lying? Do you want me to show you the reference? That your prophet, he bought those people to convert to Islam? They are criminals. The Quran speak against them all over the Quran. That they are bad people. They are bad. They are ugly. They fight the prophet. Those are the enemy of the prophet. So what he did? He bribed them. They are gang. He gave them money. And then they became the caliphate. Is that true, Fadi, or I'm lying? You said to and you said to Andalusia, right? Isn't it is it the one who occupy Andalusia? Is the children of this guy? <laughs> uh Stupid statement. Do we have any 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 serious Abdul additional to this kid? Do we have any serious Abdul? Uh, the verse we are reading is chapter nine, uh, verse number sixty. Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? And by the way, as long as you mention uh, this this uh, you know the, the story of this i mean the quran predict that this person he will never convert to islam do you want to call me fadi and i will show you the reference what do you think what do you think clear evidence if muhammad is a prophet how the quran predict that those are the enemy of allah and they will never be muslims <laughs> the same as the story as Abdullah ibn Sarh. The Quran claimed that they will never be Muslims. And he made a verse about him. The same about the Christians. Muhammad he says, Neither the Jews, neither the Christians will agree with you until you follow the religion. But isn't it Muhammad? And you Muslims, you claim that Christians and Jews convert to Islam. So how Muhammad, the Jews and the Christians says they will never accept your religion. That's stupid of you to say. 
because how the Nabu'ah will be between us if Muhammad is the last prophet? Do you even know what you are posting? I think Muhammad, when he talked, he was taking too much hashish. Hmm? Uh, let me let me show you something here Is that the prophet saying that Is that a prophet he claimed that a little kid before he became 30 years old the judgment day will come are you there fatty fatty are you there is that true Muhammad he knew the judgment day Muhammad is God Muhammad is God guys he knew here we go Muhammad he knew the judgment day actually I will make a short video about it I will call it Muhammad is God just wait the proof that Muhammad is God just wait for it What hadith you mentioned to me? You mentioned to me nothing. Give me the hadith, you, you, you idiot. What the khalafa fikum? What does that mean? I mean, look how stupid you are. And what, 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 who is a changing topic? We are talking about prophecies. Is this a prophecy? Your prophet prophesying a kid before he became 30, judgment day will come. If he is a liar, he is a liar. This is a lie. One lie will prove that he's a liar. We already we got you, we got Muhammad busted. All his everything he said is a lie. Changing topic. No, you are the one who changed topic. We are talking about Muhammad being a prophet, prophesying. Here we go. Actually, our topic about judgment day. How Muhammad he claimed that this child before he became 30. The judgment they will come any Muslim and this is Sahih this is Sahih Bukhari this is not you cannot play the game and you say to us this is weak this is blah 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 this is fat this is skinny Uh, you can call me, but uh, I know if you are only Muslims can call me. Sorry, are you a Muslim? Muhammad is the you know, Muhammad did not die, brother. Muhammad is Allah. Muhammad, he never died. What are you talking about? Muhammad is the living Allah. Muhammad, he said to the followers. That when you pray, your prayer will be placed in the front of me. They said to him, How your our prayer will be placed in the front of you, and we, you will be dead. He said, Yeah, but we the Prophet, Allah will not allow our body to be decayed. Is that correct, Fadi? <laughs> Muhammad is God. All the prayer the Muslims they say is going to be displayed in the front of Allah in his grave He's alive and he will listen to it all Have you ever heard of a madman like this not only that Muhammad he claimed that he was a prophet of Allah while Allah was making Adam Harun what does that mean 
you see how silly what you are saying to, to us what does that mean takunu nabu afikum mashallah guys the the prophet the, the the prophethood will be between the between you until Allah will what does that mean <laughs> Here we go. The prophet is prophesying in front of our eyes. Why do I read? Here we go. The prophet, the prophecy is between us, my brother. What do you mean? It what, do you, what do you mean it happened? How this hadith happened? I mean, this guy is literally suffering from mental illness. Let me let me find the hadith. Let's see. Yeah, I cannot even find the hadith. Give me the hadith, man. Give me the hadith. Give me give, post a link for us so we can laugh. Give me, give me the whole hadith. Post it, post it. It's not in this website. So we can laugh. Don't quote for me two words. All of this happened. <laughs> All of this happened. And look at this hadith. Is that correct? Hadith, Fadi? Narrated to me, he said, the messenger of Allah said, the caliphate will be in my ummah for, thir for 30 years. Is that correct? Is that number is correct, Fadi? Do we have any Muslim? No Muslims. <clears throat> I, I wish I... Uh, uh, I have the video of the last time Fadi he called me, so we can play it. So we just for, for a laugh, just for a laugh. <clears throat> Any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyone? Mayday, mayday. Are we out of them? Nobody. All right. Uh, you said I could call you, remember? Yeah, but you know, I uh, we, are, we are taking calls from Muslims now. 
and actually I prefer only Muslims to call me because we want to show them we want to show the Christians this is what we do here you know to show you how to refute the Muslims all of this is a false prophecy <clears throat> there was a caliphate only for 30 years only what this guy is talking about any Muslim want to agree with Muhammad saying that the caliphate will be for 30 years as I know just last year we have a caliphate <laughs> he was a rabies like Muhammad 30 years only are you sure anyone Rashidin Khalifa well even the Rashidin Khalifa is not 30 years here we go you got yourself busted again you see I, I, ne I never saw a Muslim he know what he's talking about Muslims are just uh, weird I don't know Abu Bakr he was a Khalifa a Khalifa for for how long was less than two years a year and four months Hmm? Omar, 10 years. So the total is what? 11 and a half or less. Uthman, 12 years. <laughs> the total is what? 24 and a half. And then we have Ali. How many years? Proven Muhammad to be a false prophet, five years. But he said 30. So what we will do now? Should we change the date to make it fit with Muhammad? Prophecy. <coughs> Same time, he did not say uh, the, the caliphate who or they are, uh, you call them Rashidin. He said the, the, the Khilafah, the caliphate, all the caliphate. And the caliphate long was long after him. Any Muslim? So even if we calculate the caliphate, we will reach or we'll reach less than twenty-eight and a half. Because the first one did not even complete a, a year and uh, and four months, which means we cannot count two years. And then the second one is ten years, and then the third one is 12 years and the last one is five years so your prophet prophecy even this one is false try something else i mean why this man whatever he say it come to be a lie and the funny your islamic books getting him busted i mean you know Sometimes you th you feel like the Muslims they are working against their prophet. They are getting him busted Why you wrote those books? Here we go now what we will do. Can we change the books? Muhammad he said 30 years what we will do hmm? And by the way as long those are the, the the good caliphate why the Muslims kill them <laughs> guys Islam Islam is made by by decent Muslims to the point each one of those caliphate was killed by Muslims
Uh, Fadi, if you don't stop posting this stupid thing, I will ban you because you have to show me the hadith, you donkey. I keep saying to you, post it, you post it, I will show it in the screen. Post it, you idiot. What's wrong with you? This guy, he keep posting for me a sentence. And he keeps saying, show them, show them. Okay, give me the hadith to show them. Stop being stupid. Because we want to laugh. Can you? Post a link for us, and I will open the exact link you gave us. What do you say? Challenge. Because this hadith is a good hadith for me. We all love. <clears throat> hmm? Any Abdul? All the prophecy Muhammad he made is proving him to be a false liar. What do you say, Fadi? Because the hadith you gave me, it says it's going to be as long as Allah wish. But this hadith says 30 years. Which means Muhammad is a liar. Because as Allah wish, it means we do not know the number. In the other hadith, it says 30 years. Same time, if those are following the Prophet, the one you are saying, Ala min hajin nubuwa, the following as is exactly as the Prophet. So why the Muslims killed them? Why Uthman was killed? All you know why they killed one by one? They are following the Prophet. That means the Muslims are not following the Prophet. Who is following the Prophet between them? Uthman, the one who made the Bani Umayyah, he support them to kill Ali and his family. The one who allowed him to steal and to rape. This is the this is the prophet uh, followers, and then as a penalty for his crimes, the Muslims they cut the head of Uthman and they took the hair of his beard one by one, one by one, and after they cut his head, they play polyball with it, and then they refuse to bury him with the Muslims and they throw him in the garbage. And then at night, a bunch of guys, they took him and they bury him between the Jews. The prophet, he prophesied they will get killed. Where, where he prophesied they will get killed? Show me the hadith. Show me the hadith so we can laugh. Guys, the, prophesy, the prophet, he prophesied he will get killed. He said they will get killed. <laughs> Show me the hadith so we can laugh. Oh boy. <clears throat> and you know why why you are uh, you know what's wrong with Muslims? Why they want to choose only certain things? Okay, and here we go. Your prophet he prophesied that this guy before he die, the judgment day will come. So what you are saying to me that you believe that there is some prophecy Muhammad he said is true, and some prophecies he said it's a lie. The fact none of them is true. Now show me where it says that those they will be killed. The hadith you gave me have nothing to do with killing them. You are a liar. This is the only kid we have here.
like from all the Muslims there's only one kid you have no idea what to say do you remember the hadith when a when a, a guy he asked the Prophet he said to him there's a three things no one knows except the Prophet of Allah <laughs> The Quran has no has so many books written after by scholars just to cover up the violence and the stupid I don't know what they mean has so many books written after the scholars you mean tafsir I'm not sure what you mean uh, Fadi he said once they got killed the caliphate ended that's not true the caliphate never ended secondly your prophet he said they will be there for 30 years my friend the total number of the caliphate is not even 28 years so your prophet again is a liar did your prophet say 30 years did he say 30 years or making things up can you calculate for us the, the years of the caliphate and is the caliphate ended in the in the and even in that date that's stupid so you are saying that the caliphate after those four they were not following muhammad they were following who the cow my books is already in africa my friend i have picture people send me their, their uh, selfie of with their books from uh, nigeria from ethiopia it's already there no problem they can attack the bible no problem have fun any muslim Anyone <clears throat> was Muhammad telling the truth? One lie will prove Muhammad to be a liar, and the lies is all over. Even Allah, He claimed that the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Right? And we are waiting for Gog and Magog to appear. And we will fight Gog and Magog by arrows. Fadi, did the moon split, Fadi? Who is a Muslim? I tell us really that the moon split. I, I saw the Muslims posting a picture from NASA. Allahu Akbar brother there's a picture from NASA brother the moon split brother that's a valley idiot we have many valleys in this earth we have even bigger we have the Grand Canyon but that does not mean the earth is a split idiot the moon split are you sure and this is was a judgment day so what happened? Allah changed his mind after he split the moon. He said to himself, it's too early now. I'm not going to do judgment day now. I will put the moon together and I will do it later. Was this is a false prophecy or what? Was it? Anyone? Uh, Adromeda, Adromeda, you have what? What this guy, Adromeda? He's somebody told me that he is attacking the Bible. What he is saying? What this guy is saying? Adromeda, can I help you, my friend? I'm going back in the text to see if he said something. What Moses heard. Gabriel voice in the name of Allah what Moses heard 
is Jibreel voice in the name of Allah what is that is that coming from the Quran or from the yellow pages nobody can hear the voice of our God such as Moose has heard Jibreel the voice uh -huh. where you get this from let me show you that you are a stupid idiot certified one here we go <clears throat> Moose says he's, he heard Jibreel. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. What a stupid idiot you are. This is a chapter 28, verse number 30. Speaking about Moose says, Moose says he saw a fire from far away. So he said to his family, I'm going to go there and grab some. But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley, from the tree, from a tree in the holy ground. O Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord of the world. So you eat it, you are saying to me, the one who was talking is Jibreel. Are you there at the Ramida? Are you saying Muhammad is lying? The voice saying, I am Allah. So Jibreel was talking, saying, I am Allah. Are you there, uh, Adaramida Adida? Jibreel was saying, I am Allah. Are you there? Don't, don't don't play dead now. Don't tell me you did not say that. We have a snapshot of it. You said that nobody heard the voice of Allah, and Musa did not hear the voice of Allah. He heard the voice of Jibreel. Quran says, "No man, no man can speak except the angels." Quran says, uh, "Okay, listen, listen." Do you see the verse I'm showing you in the in the and, and show me show me show me the verse in the Quran that says nobody can speak to Allah but the angels. I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to learn from you. And the verse we are in front of us, what we would do with it now. The Quran says nobody can speak to Allah except the angels. Show me the verse. I mean, where we get those Muslims from? I'm sure you are not organic. I think they, they, they use too much fertilizer. You, you are out of control. You said Jibreel, uh, 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 Moose has never spoke to Allah. Okay, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Additional to this, this is nothing, this is the start. Who is talking here? And who is talking here? <laughs> and who is talking here? He said to him, Oh my lord. <laughs> and who is talking here? <laughs> and who is talking here? And who is taken here? I mean, you are a certified donkey. Get out of here. Get about it. Just let me let me ban let me ban you. We don't have a you know. What's your Skype? Okay, you have a Skype, that's good. Okay, give me your Skype. I will, I will, I will call you. Give me your Skype. I will add you. I was going to ban you actually, but as long you will call me in Skype, I have, I, I have forgiven you. All right. <clears throat> give me your Skype. We will take you as a snack. Give me your Skype. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. Log online and let me call you.
Guys, did he pause his Skype? Where is this guy? And don't worry about shouting. Let him shout. Give you a Skype. You don't want to talk to me in Skype now. Okay, let me let me block you then. So you were lying to us, and you idiot. The verse you gave us in the Quran. Just just to show you. Okay, I will show the verse you gave us. And here again, again, you see how the Muslims are really. I feel sorry for them. I really feel sorry for you. This is the verses. This is the verse you choose for us. The Lord of the heaven and the earth, and whatever is between them, the most beneficent. None can dare to speak with him on the day of resurrection. Which means nobody dare to question. Nobody dare even to be open his mouth. That is about the day of resurrection. You're a stupid idiot. Because Muhammad, he confirmed in the Quran and the Hadith that Allah, he, this is why Musa's his name is Karimullah, which means the one who Allah spoke to. And Allah, he spoke to Isa. And Allah, he spoke to uh, to David. Allah spoke to Solomon. You are an idiot. Here we go. You are. Uh, do you see it? Who is talking? Muhammad, reporting what Adam he says to Moses. So stop being silly and stupid. So are you saying Muhammad is a liar? Okay, are you saying Muhammad is a liar? Confirm to me. Muhammad, he says that Muhammad, uh, uh, Moses, he spoke directly to Allah. So are you saying Muhammad is a liar? You're a prophet. I'm not going to go over, you know, here we go. Muhammad, he says that Allah spoke directly to Moses. Are you agreeing with me that Muhammad is a liar then? Are you a Muslim who is agreeing, getting your prophet busted? Because if you are saying nobody spoke to Allah and nobody can speak to Allah, that means Muhammad is a liar. This is Sahih Hadith. It's very authentic. So what do you say? And Jibreel, he said to Musa, I am Allah. Ah, he did not hear the voice of Allah. He heard the voice of the angels. The angels, they were saying to him, I am Allah. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to block you for a very simple reason. I hate stupidity. I have no, I have no patience for it. Don't come here again. And don't get married. Because your wife, she will commit suicide immediately. I feel sorry for her. I really feel sorry for any women, by the way. Uh, you see, there's many men, and specifically men, I'm not going to talk about women. They don't deserve to have a family. They don't deserve to get married. They don't deserve to have children. They are extremely stupid. So imagine you are a child and you have a father like this. God forbid. Imagine you are a woman and you marry a man like this. Or like the guy who called me yesterday saying to me, yes, it's true. The sun set in the murky water. This is true. Right? No, I mean, I mean, really, there's a lot of people, they are unlucky. 
this is why you know if you ever want to get married from a woman or a man try always I mean if you are silly then marry a silly person I advise you actually not to marry a smart person because if you are a silly person and you marry a smart person that's the person you marry from will commit suicide will go crazy because of you so it's better to marry someone like you you are a silly marry someone silly you are stupid marry someone stupid then you know everybody will be happy you will spend the day talking about uh, actors and opera hey, everybody is happy but if one of them is smart and the other one is stupid then both they will suffer even the stupid one will suffer because they cannot understand each other they cannot even have a conversation together they are from two different worlds Sharmak Noor who is Sharmak Noor is he a Muslim are you a Muslim my friend No, my Skype is working, my friend. Give me your name, I will call you. Who said my Skype is not working? Give me your Skype. Ahmad, I am a liar. Why? I just said Muhammad is a prophet. Is that why you are saying to me I'm a liar? Muhammad, he prophesied that if he lie, Allah will cut his artery. So yes, the prophet, he was a prophet. He prophesied. At least there's one prophecy. He says true. Let me show you. We have to be honest here. The prophet, he said something and it really happened. Read with me. This is Sahir Bukhari. The prophet said that I feel as if my orta is being cut off from the poison which he ate in Khaybar. What is cut off? Ahmad, are you there? I feel as my orta. Amazing. Muhammad died by poison. Allah did not save him. Okay, his name is. Okay, let's see if I can find this name in Skype. Hold on. Even though I almost was going to leave. Which one is you? There's many. Which one of those three is you? Hold on. <sighs> There's three names. All of them, they have the same name. And none of them is online. Come online so I will know, I will, I will be able to recognize you. No, I will not send messages to all because then people, they will uh, text me back and they are not the one we want them to text. Come online, uh, Shamrak, Sharmak. How you wanna call me 
actually there's more than three there's more like there's maybe a hundred I keep clicking at more and there's many come out how I will know which one come online at least I will know that you are the one anyway forget about him look at this Muhammad he prophesy that if he is lying in the Quran Allah will cut his artery and this is exactly what happened to Muhammad if he is lying Allah will cut what read it if Muhammad is fabricating Quran it says as if as if so what as if <laughs> that's a good answer guys it says as if well as if that's mean this is where the pain is that's mean this is how he die this is what he feel are you saying your prophet was lying you don't feel that when I say as if hmm, as if because it's not yet he's not dead yet because if this has happened he will be dead you idiot if his artery is is, is cut off he, he, that's mean he cannot talk he's dead so now he feel it now it's happening and then he may die right away <laughs> you want him to say that after he die you want him to say not as if if you want him to say it cut off and he stay alive <clears throat> hmm? you are very smart so the Quran Muhammad he says in chapter 69 if Muhammad is fabricating Quran fabricating words saying that Allah is the one speaking surely will cut him from his right hand and we will cut his order and this is exactly how Muhammad he died Yeah, a lot of Muslims when I debate me, I cannot find them. Fake hadith? How how this hadith is fake? This is Sahih Bukhari. Guys, this is fake hadith. Sahih Bukhari is fake hadith. Anything get Muhammad busted is fake. <coughs> anyone the one you are giving me the name is not a Muslim <clears throat> yeah Oh, Lord have mercy guys I got it I got it earlier would not call me I got it I mean I'm not blind Jabril he uh, he sees for me I don't even look at the screen I hear Jabril here he's brief do you see that's it I get it <clears throat> thank you Cotham and we love Germany too and I hope they will solve their problems. Who is a Muslim when they uh, call me? Come on. You know, sometimes, guys, I feel like a homeless. Keep saying any Abdul, any Abdul, like a guy sitting in the front of a, of a, uh, in the street. Uh, you know, any penny, a dollar. Like any Abdul. How many times I say any Abdul?
no no I love I just texted you actually I texted you but you are not in Skype and they keep saying to me I want to call you when I call you but you you aren't even in Skype you're not bothering me I told you before you can call me because you're an ex Muslim <clears throat> Don't be upset don't be upset you see many people they get upset from me but i have too much stress on my in my head and everybody get upset from me easy hi cp hello hi How this is you? Isla. hey Isla. Hi. How are you? hi um so i had a question regarding um the history of arabs because in iran they tell people that those Arabs that Muhammad came to were vow people who would kill their daughters and stuff like that. Um, I was always wondering if this is even true. Were they so vile? Is he did he did do that for those people, or is it just a story? No, absolutely, this is false. Because if everybody kill his daughter, then we have no daughters. <laughs> Right. Okay, but there were like cults who would actually do that, you know, offer their daughters to these idols. So it's not no, totally no, no, unhistorical. No, that's, that, that's, but... that's not true. First of all, okay, isn't it Muslim? They say that Muhammad he was working for a woman. Her name is Khadija. I always use this comment. But... Okay, so how Khadija? How people they bury their daughters, but men they work for women. You know. Uh, in the Middle East, we have a queens, women who they are leaders, kings. You know, they are, they are ruling kingdoms. Even in Iran, you have. Actually, Muhammad he said, uh, when the daughter of Kisra, she became yeah. a ruler of Iran. He said, a nation ruled by their by a female, they will never be successful. Oh wow! So okay. it, is, it is Muhammad who was putting women down, and the kuffar they make women queens and kings so how Muhammad how Muslim they say that because this is an endless story they tell people in Iran they say Muhammad came in a time where women were abused and this is how he helped them and I'm always like so if if he wanted to help he could you know bring uh, Moses his law or Jesus his law to you know to give even your life for your wife why would he come up with such stupid things but then I like yeah, they were stupid, so he was needed. And because you're an Arab and you know the history very well, I was like, maybe this whole this whole story is a lie, so they can keep up this uh, narrative. It is a lie because simply okay. what, the, what the Quran is saying. You see, there's nowhere in the Quran it says a female uh, 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 child was buried. The Quran Correct. says the following, but they try to fool those who don't speak. Uh, Arabic. Uh, Arabic. <laughs> Look what they say here. In chapter 81, verse number 8, it says, When the female, and they put between two brackets, infant buried, a life. Okay, and then between two brackets, as the Arab pagans used to do. Shall yeah. be questions. I change any Muslim to show me where it says female and where it says infant. Okay, wow. There's nowhere. It says in Arabic, Al Mawuda. Al Mawuda, the one is buried, and that is the dead uh, uh, body, you know. Uh, we so there is no we, sex in it, we, like no, no, the no. gender is not okay. No, no, ju just uh, no, this is like it's coming as a female because this is Arabic word as a female for the body, like a body of a human being. It doesn't matter, it's a male or female. We call it ju okay. Jutha. So okay. that body which is killed. It's, it's a it's a like you know in in English uh, it's different from our Arabic like in English we have I know uh, I know we have, have the same in Iran. You, have, you, okay. have, you have to say she before Ooh. something right yeah but in Arabic yeah. no Arabic there is words it's females and there is words it's a male but it's not about a gender as an example ta ah, ta okay. table table is a <coughs> table is a female you know chair okay. is a male okay but neither the chair neither the table is a female or male right you know yes. what I mean? yeah so uh, uh, the same here it says al mawuda the one which is buried this is what al mawuda mean so there's nowhere it says female and nowhere it says infant so yes. it's going to be said in which uh, sin or which guilt she was uh, 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 killed that is the body she is the body
the body of the the dead body. Okay. For what reason she was killed? So when you when you when you kill a person, that dead body in the day of resurrection, Allah will ask that this this body, for what reason they killed you? What you did? You know, and then everything which is written, which means the the record of everyone will be you know like published and everybody will see his sin so this is have nothing to do with the arab because okay let us say for the sake of argument that muhammad he forbid the people from burying their daughter where it says they are forbidden from burying okay this is about the judgment day <laughs> you know? oh wow okay in the judgment day oh. allah will ask you see all this chapter here is about the judgment day look this is a taqweer. It says here, when the sun is covered, when the sun uh, uh, round, because the sun now is not round, and then and then when the the stars became darkened, and when the mountains is destroyed, and etc. When 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 and when the the mount the the sea and when the the souls you see you see the word souls. I can't see because I'm calling you on my phone. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I have to look back after. Yeah. When the souls is going to be uh, uh, joined together with the bodies, and then right away after the word bodies, we see the word is going to be questions. That is the body. In Arabic is in Arabic here it says al mu'uda. So that oh, is a question okay. about the body which is buried. Is going to be rejoined with the soul so it can talk and then we will ask that body who and why you've been killed for what reason all right however by the way uh, uh, here is it doesn't even say killed not necessarily killed uh, uh, the, the verse after it, it says killed but here in the in the in the verse here it says and the one who is, is buried is going to be questioned for which sin was killed now here killed it can be any reason somebody killing anyone you know murder etc so everyone will be questioned for a crimes he did for okay. for what reason and there's nowhere here is speaking about what they claim okay yeah thank same, you same time same time uh, uh if this is a true Shouldn't they quote for us some stories of people they bury their daughters? Who are they? Yeah, there are like extra biblical, uh, biblical extra uh, Quranic scripture describing those tribes and stuff. And I'm always like, maybe it was a very small tribe if they were even doing that. But at the same time, as you mentioned very well, Khadija was his wife. She was wealthy, very well educated. So how is that that in that time women were treated like Khadija as well? So it's it's. It's a really weird story. No, At the no, same no, time, when Khadija, I argue, Khadija, she was sorry. not she was not educated. She was she was a really stupid woman. But let us say, really? yeah, she was a stupid woman. Otherwise, she would not marry Muhammad anyway. Uh, uh, Maybe she, she was demonic and wanted to use no, him. No, no, he is, because she know, was not a. She is a she is a silly stupid woman. She is very old, and she married someone a lot younger, because he is for sale. You know, there is uh, there is there is men they are cheap. If they see a woman, she is rich and she is old even if she is 30 40 years older than them as long as she have money uh, uh you know they will marry her but uh -huh. here, they but, teach this in iran yeah. that she was very well educated no what education so what, where, 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 which, what they say she they uh, they say muhammad learned a lot from her about judaism about christianity no first of all khadija she was not even christian she was nasara and nasara is a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. It's a cult. Okay. Have nothing I to know. do with Christian. Yeah. Secondly, uh, even according to the Muslims, Khadija, she was a bad woman. And I will tell you the story here. Let me, uh, I will put it in the screen, even though you cannot see it. Yeah, but, I will see later. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if we go, there is there is a chapter in the Muslims books. It's called The Examination of the uh, Wahi, which means inspiration of Allah. Uh, Khadija, let us see. Khadija, she examined the 
the uh, the wahi of Allah which mean uh, wahi mean the inspiration Allah he sent him uh, yeah, okay yeah uh, uh, guidance etc and uh, Khadija she proved to Muhammad that he is a prophet how let us see how smart Khadija is and how smart the Muslims with her this is the book of Asira okay Sirat Ibn Hisham we are showing the screen for the Muslims volume mm -hmm. number one and this is the hadith in the front of us well my screen now is frozen a little bit okay it says here I'm going to translate guys I'm going to click this is a Google uh, uh, browser so I'm going just to choose to translate even though the translation is not accurate but we will use it just to prove a point okay now it's coming in English so Muhammad he uh, he used to see something but he is not sure what he is seeing someone he come and he sit in the corner of his house but he don't talk he don't know who is this guy he don't talk this guy he sit in the corner so he told Khadija about her and then Khadija she told him next time you see this guy the one who come to you in the corner let me know all right okay. so uh, uh, she told him to tell her to tell her when he come okay he uh, said when he come to you he said uh, uh, he, okay yes he is here she said if he come uh, tell me which mean if he if you see him again tell me and he come to her and uh, he told uh, Khadija okay uh, I see him so Khadija she, by the way it doesn't say uh, the Jibreel this is in the translation but this is supposed to now they are trying to discover who is Jibreel uh, he come to me she said oh my cousin sit in my left thigh the the the, uh. the top of your leg that the her leg so hey, the messenger he is uh, stand and he sit in the top of her left uh, thigh and then she asked him do you see him he said yes I see him <laughs> okay. okay then she asked oh, him wow. then she asked him okay stand up and sit in my right thigh in the top of her right leg <sighs> the prophet he stood and he sat in the top of her right thigh and she said to him after he said there do you see him he said yes then uh, 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 Khadija uh, she asked him to sit in the top of her lap in the top of her and she said to him do you see him he said yes and then after he sat in her lap and he see her still he see him she take start taking off her clothes and then okay. she asked the messenger do you see him he said no she said the glory to Allah this is a this is an angel this is not the devil <laughs> so wow Khadija, like, you know this is how they have been fooling our whole nation an entire nation with these I mean like when you expose it like everyone will laugh at this but this is not what we are told in Iran for years now we have been told that she was very well educated her father was Christian her mom was a Jew and she, everything he learned about uh, you know the, the, the Abrahamic faith he learned it from her that's what we have been told about her well obviously this is the opposite of the truth she is educated yeah. about striptease because what this have to do with God yeah. I mean since when if I said have you ever heard of a prophet his wife she said to him sit in my lap let us see if this is an angel or not I mean this is stupid he was a sex maniac it's really clear yeah, that but, he was but disturbed. the story here story uh, uh, here proving that Muhammad and Khadija both are stupid because yeah. why Muhammad did not ask her what this have to do with seeing a guy in the corner? What are you talking about? Sit in your lap for what? <sighs> sit in my left leg, and what? And why she said to him, "Okay, sit in my right leg now." Like what? What, ha what will happen? I mean, and if she knew that the, the the way to make to to know if by taking off her clothes. Okay, what about you take off her clothes from the beginning? The Muslim they say because this is an angel, he is shy to see a, a, a man and the women having sex, so he have to leave. So okay, what about we start having sex right away? If he is still there, you know, then we ask Muhammad. Do you see him? He will say no. What the what the point of saying like moving here, sit here?
Okay, sorry for this. Uh, it's my router. My router. I don't know if you can hear me now. Still, uh, my router is start. I have like a schedule uh, restarting for my router. I never thought I would stay until now. <laughs> Do you still hear me, guys? Am I still heard? All right. I have my router scheduled to to uh, to restart at this time because I, ne I never thought I would do broadcast at you know at this time in the morning so uh, I should remember that this will happen uh, anyway we we lost our sister here uh, let me call her back but anyway as you see this is how stupid this this uh, this cult is I guess she is not there anymore. Uh, maybe she lost her connection too. Uh, anyway, so uh, when the Muslim they speak about Khadija, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I, I really, it's funny how this story even came to existence. Did Muhammad go around telling people that my wife? When I saw an angel, she told me to sit in her lap. And if this is true, what kind of a man he is? I mean, imagine I was sitting in my wife's lap, and then I come and say, hey, guys, I was sitting in my wife's lap. I saw somebody in the corner, and my wife, she said to me, sit in the top of my right thigh, and then my left thigh. And then she said, and she asked me to sit in the top of her. And then she asked me, she started taking off her clothes. I mean, what is that? Let us see if we can get her back. Hi, CP. Sorry, dear sister, I lost you. I apologize. Oh, I'm I'm sorry too. I'm uh, walking outside. Yeah. Anyway, so... do you have any uh, any other question? Yeah. Um, there are two other questions. One is they keep saying when I say he married a six year old, they keep saying. In mm. those times, those girls were very mature, very tall, very this, very that. Right. I, it sounds nonsensical to me, of course, but just is there anything backing this up? Or is this another you know, a lie they're telling? You know, uh, 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 Aisha, uh, the one they are saying she was mature. She was, was a playing, playing she was a playing with yeah. her dolls, you know. So how she was mature, but yet she is playing in, with her dolls. Not only that, they refute this that there are grown up people who still play with dolls. No, not true. You know, even she called him her daughter, her daughters. Aisha, at the age of 14, she called them my daughters. At the age of 14. So imagine at the age of 16, she called them what? You know, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and, and by yeah. the way, when you. Uh, 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 when you tr when you see the translation, you will see the the Muslims uh, they, they didn't translate the word my daughters. Know. You know they lie a lot. I'm trying. Here we go. You see, guys, this is the hadith, and this is Sahih hadith. This is Sahih hadith. This is Sunan Abu Dawood, hadith number four nine three two. Sahih. Here you will see Muhammad. He uh, the curtain left up, and he saw her playing with some dolls. Uh, and Muhammad he asked her, "What is this?" Uh, she said, uh, "My dolls." In the translation, in Arabic it doesn't say that. In Arabic it says, "My daughters, Banati." Oh, wow. Yeah, Banati. You know, what actually, actually, you know what? Let me. I will use Google. The... I will use Google Browser so we can translate using Google Browser. Liars! That would different. That's so sick. Seriously. Yeah, always. This is why I say never trust Muslim translation. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> you see, this is the this is the, the this is the hadith here. I'm going to click and translate. Hmm. Let us see if the word "my daughters" will appear in the right side. All right, here we go. Uh, Said. Ayub, messenger blessing, blah, 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 okay. 
covering women, covering daughter Aisha among them. Two wings. Oh, where is the word? Here we go. Okay, does it say daughters? Do you see in Google translation the word daughters? Wow. Do you see it says daughters? In the English here, now we have two English translations. The one made by Muslims in the left. And the one is done by Google automatically for the Arabic text. The word daughter is totally gone and they never translate because this is very embarrassing. So let me just like let me just have so he slept with people who he called his daughters, right? That's just like okay, wow. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. The uh, Aisha, she have the uh, dolls and she yeah? is calling her dolls my daughters. Oh, that I was, yeah, like, that's what I'm talking okay. about. Yeah, so he asked her, she have dolls with her. She he said to her, What is this? She did not say my dolls. She said my daughters. Oh. Okay. So that that makes it sure that she was a child because only she's a child. Like and she is yeah. at this time she is fourteen years old because this has happened in during the time of the book or Khaybar according to Hadith. So she was fourteen years old. Fourteen wow. years old, and still she believed that her dolls are her daughters. Now. Uh, uh, they might say some girls like they grow and they keep their their dolls since they were children's but this is for memory but she will not play with them and she will not call them my daughters wow oh, okay you know and she's wow. playing with them at that moment she's playing with them you know and obviously muhammad is talking to her as a child and he said to her she there, there's one of the dolls uh not all of them they are like uh, in the shape of a female one of them in the shape of a horse and have wings. So he said to her, and what is this? Horse with two wings? She replied, have you not heard that Suleiman had a horse with wings? You know? <laughs> so uh, uh, so here, Muhammad, he laughed. Laugh at what? Uh, laugh, laugh at how cute she is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. You see, yeah. it says, it, he laughed until his teeth they show, because which I mean, he laughed like crazy. You know, so he's loving what because she is uh, 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 mature. And this then, will expose everything for them if people will actually know the, the these stories. Um, I already uh, sent you a message on Skype. You can listen to it later regarding this. All right. Thank you so much for re revealing all of this. Honestly, You're like welcome. this is just uh, insane. You know, I have one more question if you have time. Another, sure. uh, maybe I can ask it later if you have no time. No, it's Tell okay. Me. But you know, uh, for me, I wanted you to call me, like, uh, just uh, because you want to, you know, you you post for the Iranian community. So yes, yes. I want you to call me again, in different timing. So that will be only like short video for you. So you can download it because this video is very long. Otherwise, now you have to download it and cut it off from yes. the time you you know the, uh, that will make you maybe I don't know how easy it is for you. So either you download this video. So you can take your questions and post it in your Facebook or whatever. Or you call me again, you know, in a time where uh, just only I make short video for you so you can download it and post it again in Facebook. Sure. All right? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. You're, yeah. Welcome. you're welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. God bless you so much. Take care. God bless. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. And, you know, please, guys, don't be upset if I don't... Uh, many of you want to talk to me. And now, actually... Uh, just because she's ex-Muslims, I accept. You know, uh, if I if I say to everybody when I talk to me, uh, yes, and we, you know, then we will not be able to talk to Muslims. But I know that she is important because she is trying to refute Muslims from her country, and she herself she's an ex-Muslim. So uh, those people are important for us to arm them with the answers they need uh, because they are different from the rest of us. They have a mission, all right? They have an important mission. Now, here it's 5, 11 in the morning. I thought I would make a video short. Now, how you can download this video? It's going to be like four hours now. Me, what we will do? I guess I have to make it again. Um, anyway, you know, I assure you that Islam not only a silly cult, Islam is very easy cult to defeat. 
but usually the Christians are not trained and they know nothing about this cult it's like you know I want to teach you how to do fishing but there's no sea there's no fish and there's no pole and there's no hook but I want to teach you how to do fishing that will not work so what what the, what the problem is the Christians they go to their churches they don't talk about any other religion they don't attack anyone they don't uh, the priests don't teach them anything about uh, how to refute answers they do have a service and that is really not what Christianity is about that is just a worship but the church was not a place of worship synagogue was always a place for discussion debate and education not only a place of worship that's why you see Jesus himself was debating with the Jews in the synagogue but because they are not doing that for most of those who call themselves a priest these days they are doing a business like Muhammad this is why many of the Christians are short of answers because they never experience such a thing in the same time the Muslims all day long they do nothing except attacking Christianity and Judaism a kid he is six years old the first thing he hear when he go to the mosque Christians are bad and this is why they are bad Jews are bad and this is why they are bad Christian he go to the church they never said to him anything about Islam about Muslims about Muhammad about anyone you know so then you grow up you never heard you never spoke you never you never you never learned Oh, what you know that uh, Jesus said and uh, I am following Jesus all right Western churches no not a true not all Western churches depend depend in the person you know there's there's a potatoes and there's tomatoes and there's a brave and there's cowards everywhere so there's many uh, Christian ministers they are brave and they expose Islam and there is many they are doing business you know if you want to know if you're if your minister is a real minister or not ask him what do you think about Islam if he starts saying to you they are Abrahamic and all this garbage you know just know that you're the minister who is ministering to you he need to go to school and he is a kid even if he is 60 years old how many of you heard Muslims as a, your church minister saying to you that uh, the Muslims are from Ishmael what made them from Ishmael? Where this is coming from? This is the propaganda of Islam because they want to make Muhammad as if he is legitimate descendant from Abraham. It's the whole story. You know? And then the Trinity is a 400 years after Jesus. You see, Ahmad, I want to I wanna use your text just to show you how silly the Muslims are. Ahmad, Guys, did he say, did he say 400 years after Jesus, the Trinity? I will go with you. I will go with your logic. So if 400 years after Jesus is not good, what? how you accept then Muhammad who came 600 years after Jesus? He never saw Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never spoke the language of Jesus. He never touched the book of Jesus. So how you let somebody witness to Jesus 600 years if you don't like the 400 years secondly you idiot the Trinity is in the Old Testament And in the New Testament So how the New Testament and the Old Testament is speaking about God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit And then you says to me 400 years is the book of John written 400 years after Jesus you donkey Is the book of Mark written 600 years after Jesus is the book of uh, Luke? I mean Muslims are silly next time bring your dad okay and now you you should go and, and, and play with the daughters of Aisha just to show you how easy it is to defeat the stupid questions and accusation of no Muhammadan you see I just give you an example and this is what we are doing here we are arming you with answers you see there is there is a there is people they, they have knowledge but they don't know what to how to answer not because they don't have knowledge but they are not gifted debate is a is a is a kind of a gift because not only you have to have a knowledge you have to have a fast processor 
you have to come with the logical answer I mean it's a it's a it's a complicated thing it's a big challenge at the same time and this is why the Abdul they are afraid even to call me look at them we keep saying any Abdul any Abdul as if I'm begging for for like a sandwich right Do we have any Muslim? And what about the Hadith? And what about the Quran? The Quran you have today, the earliest one is written 800 years after after Muhammad. Excuse me. What is the Quran you have? What is the Quran of Muhammad? And how you accept Muhammad to be the only witness for everything? Even in adultery in Islam, you need four witnesses. I mean, for just six, you need four witnesses. For God, you do not need witnesses. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? <laughs> Guys, you believe it? To prove adultery in Islam, you need four witnesses. To prove God, zero witnesses. Muhammad, he went to seven heaven, he came back, no witnesses. Why? Why there's no witnesses? What happened? Okay, who is a Muslim when a witness that Muhammad was circumcised for us? How Muhammad he order you to do circumcision, but he himself is not circumcised? What happened? Any Muslim can witness for us why Muhammad was not circumcised? Did you see? Uh, yeah, I know the birds are singing already. So, but look how look how silly they are. So, my friend, this is why I say, please download my videos, even if you don't want to pause them again in YouTube. Make a library. I spend all those hours not to waste my time. I am doing my best until God knows when, until I die, that before I leave this earth, before the Lord take me, we will arm as many as we can from. Christian children's youth and adult not only to answer the cult of Islam but to defeat it Islam is the most stupid cult ever I mean I can defeat Islam even if I am in the deep ESC and I am not breathing I can use the Zachary Naik uh, diving umbrella All right, Muhammad, he did not need uh, circumcision. Why? <laughs> yeah, all right. <clears throat> uh, anyway, you know, uh, just put you in your mind. Always remember something. When a Muslim, the Muslim, he says something against Christianity, you use his logic. I keep repeating that. Did you see how I answer this, Abdul? Use his logic. 400 years, like Mimi Hijab, he said to David Wood, 4,000 years, 4,000 years, and the Jews instructed to worship one God. 4,000 years, which means from the time of Moses until now. But the Quran says that uh, the Jews, they worship a guy, his name is Uzair. And he is the son of Allah. So when the Muslim they say there is no trinity in the Old Testament. So who is the Jews they worship? There is no son of God in the Old Testament. This is what they say. The Jews, chapter 9, verse number 30, it says that the Christian they worship the Messiah as son of God, and the Jews they worship Uzair as a son of God. Read it. So when he said for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, that's mean the Quran is a stupid book. It's a lie. It's in the front of you. Guys, the word Jews mean some Jews. That's stupid of you to say. Because if some Jews, they do that, you don't say the Jews. Correct, guys? You don't say, here we go. Uh, Ahmad, just to show you how silly his answer, he's trying to defend but because we could not find anyone, we could not even find one verse in the Bible mentioning a guy, his name is Uzair. Who is Uzair? Who is this guy, Uzair? 
So Ahmadi says to us, yes, some of the Jews, some of the Jews, where the some of the Jews? If if some of the Jews, then you should say some of the Jews. You don't say the Jews. You say here the Jews said. Nowhere it says the Christian said. The Jews, the Christian, not some of the Jews, some of the Christians. So stop lying. And who is this guy, Uzair? <laughs> All the names in the Quran are quoted wrongs. Wrong. Uh, Mary, she is the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? Mary, she is not the daughter of Amran. Where is this coming from? Moses is the daughter of Amran because Moses is a brother of Mary, according to Muhammad. <laughs> And Moses, his father, is not Omran. Who said that? Omram is not Omran. Uh, Moses, look at this here as an example. Read it, read this, read and laugh. Moses he met the Samari. Moses was in the time of the Samari. The Samari and Moses they were in the same time. Have you ever heard of a stupid God like this before? Moses and the Samari they are in the same town. Hello? Any Abdul? I'm just changing for you the translation so you can see all of them for fun. Samari is the Samartian. The Samartian. Oh, what is this? Moses and the Samaritan? Are you sure? <laughs> Is it true that the Quran was written in Qureshi Arabic? I don't believe the Quran was ever written in any language. Uh, I believe the early Quran, mostly it was, most of it is in Aramaic, you know? This is why the Muslims cannot understand, understand today most of the Quran. As an example, uh, the story of the seven sleepers. The Muslims, they are so confused about it because this is an Aramaic story. So the word Kali Ahom, they understood it as Kalbahom. And there's a huge difference between Kali Ahom and Kalbahom. Kalbahom is their dog. Kali Ahom is their provider. Uh, so the Muslims, they took the story from the Aramaic. Muhammad, he took it from the Aramaic, which is a fiction story about an angel opening his arms. Have you ever heard of a dog having arms? This is what the Quran is saying. Fatihun Zara'ihi. This is an angel. The story says there's an angel who stood in the in the door of the cave to protect them. A dog cannot protect uh, people from an army. Have you ever heard of a dog can fight an army? This only can happen in a cartoon. So the original story says that there is an angel opening his arm. To protect them in the gate of the cave. Muhammad, or whoever came after, we are not sure, he said, instead of saying Kali Ahum, he says uh, which means their dog. So the word, the, the word, uh, imagine the word. Uh, Dog, the word angel became dog. Have you ever heard of this? All of us we knew that dogs in Islam are considered to be dirty. So how come Allah now is talking about this dog, the famous dog of Allah? It, by the way, in case you do not know, a dog he uh, Allah he have a dog. I told you the story before, right? When the cousin of Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad he was reciting the chapter of an najm 
and this is a proof that Muhammad is a star worshiper at that time he said uh, he asked his cousin to believe in the Lord of the star his cousin he said I kafar to be Rabbi Najm I'm not going to believe in the Lord of the star then Muhammad said to him aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dogs his dog and he will eat you and later the Muslims they claim that Allah he sent his dog and he ate this man so Allah has a dog all right now here the story it says uh, and their dog he stretched his look you see the translation this is why I say always translation is deceiving it says he's stretching out his four legs that's a lie it doesn't say that it says his two arms zero he he opened his two arms dogs don't have arms so the word zero he is accurate coming from the oldest story original the word kelbahom is not kelbahom it is kaliahom actually even some uh, some interpretation they get the correct meaning they say the origin it was not kelbahom it was a mistake it is carry a home all right anyway guys um, uh, um it's time for me to go uh, it's already 5 30 a.m in the morning so i want to apologize i'm not going to stay longer I worship a man uh, you worship a shin I worship a man who is alive right now you worship a dead man who promised you God who have a shin you have five fingers and he will hold the earth in two fingers you worship who the man I worship is God he is a resurrector he is a creator he forgives sin and he is alive as we speak your God, he never saw, never saw him. There's no proof of him, and he said a stupid thing. He think the sperm coming from the backbone. Women have a sperm coming from her chest, her nipples, nipples. May Allah nipple you. So you are talking about worshiping a man. You worship a donkey. You don't know even how your God look like. Who's your God? You have no idea. You go on YouTube. You see Allah have a hand, brother. Allah, he said he have a hand. What I can say. If Allah he says he have hands that's when you have hands okay why Allah have hands and then your prophet he explain his God he says Allah have two hands in the right side well nice to meet you Allah have two hands in the right side your God uh, he have a birth defect have you ever heard of a God his two hands are right hand so you worship a God who have two right hands. Hey brother, do we have a left hand? No brother, he lost his left hand in the car accident. What if Allah has a foot? Yes brother, he have foot because he play with Real Madrid, brother. What? Right? Are you there, the guy who says to me, you worship a man? What's your God is? He have fingers, he have hands. You have a foot, you have an ass, you have two eyes. What he is? You tell me. Octopus? <laughs> so you complain about Jesus have a, have a, you know, what, who's your God? Brother. Man, the sun is coming already. How I can sleep now? I can't sleep. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you. Maybe I have to redo this video. Maybe I should take it down. But I will leave it for you so you can download it for a little bit. Uh, and that we will redo again the same topic. All right. Uh, I want to say thank you for everybody for your support. And truly, truly, uh, uh, my eyes are not seeing the screen no more. I start seeing a fog in front of my eyes. Where are you guys? Where are you? I don't see you. <laughs> oh, this is not. Oh, this is a breed. I touched. I just touched uh, Jabril, Jabril in front of me. Yeah, my eyes, you can tell, they are getting tired. And um, it's time to go before. I was saying it's time to go 15 minutes ago. I hate you all. <laughs> anyway, thank you, guys. And our God is awesome God. 
and Islam is the most silly stupid cult keep listening keep learning read my books and we have thousands of videos all of them they are for free they are made for you even if you are a poor you do not need to buy my books to learn about Islam I'm here for you my friend I am here for the poor before the rich I am here for the one who want to learn male or female adult or a child I am here for you until I die so please educate yourself download the videos watch them take reference and then you will see how powerful you will be because our weakness is our ignorance and this is why they would love to debate you but look I stay here for how many hours how many Muslims call zero because they knew they are no match the Lord is my witness that they have no witness they witness for Allah but they never saw him they witness for Muhammad but they never met him they witness for 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 a prophethood but never him he never make a real prophecy all of them they are false and stupid so be my witness we are victorious and they are being defeated with their cult every day and we want to save the Muslims we are not fighting the Muslims we are fighting the cult of Islam we are defeating the belief we don't want to defeat a poor Muslim they are poor people they have been lied to they've been fooled and they think they are doing the right thing Jesus says time will come and people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God and this is exactly what they do they are poor people who have been fooled be deceived by a man his name is Muhammad and his devil his name is Allah and they yet they want to claim in that by killing us they are going to go to heaven killing will not take you to heaven will take you to hell you better enjoy it thank you guys Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again take care bye bye